newer characters, Caboose just has the range and the the harassment from so far away as you see him abusing right now. Yeah, for real. This is going to be pretty crazy here. And I mean, oh my goodness. Off to a intense start. <laughs> I love Combat's uh, <laughs> variation name there with Johnny. Buff Johnny. Oh, nice flawless block. Okay, there's the kick. Said the same thing after Gears got nerfed as well. <laughs> <laughs> but but you, you see that arcing projectile coming to play already. Uh, right. You know, dr dr Dragon using, I, I wonder if he's got the Skywalker e equipped given that he called his character Ryan Sky or Ryan Walker. Ryan Walker and, and, yeah. and, and his name is Ryan Walker. So it's it, it's actually a play on his own name if you guys didn't get that. But if right. he doesn't even have the move equipped, it's going to be a little bit of a blow. But I think I did see him take to the skies and that's what the arcing projectile is all about and slides oh. underneath the forward three. Dragon doing some crazy stuff already early on, but it is Combat who has been calm, cool, and collected against all these shenanigans. Oh, nice flawless block there on the warp needle with the up two. But okay, now looks like Dragon's going to get things going. One, one up four. Okay. Now he's got combat in the corner. Going to keep applying the pressure. Good tech. Keep it nice and safe. And once again, uh, every high that combat tried to advance with Dragon has gotten a punish on. So look for him to use that back three probably a little bit more. And the knowledge oh. there to get the punish as well. Now he's pushing back to full screen, trying to set the tone with the force balls. Nice stagger. Nice throw. One. Yep. Ooh, if if that would have got the clip, would have been the crushing blow right there too. I think that that's what Dragon is betting on. But this health lead is is starting to dwindle here. Evening up here, coming and sliding up the back oh, three. No. Not a huge confirmation by combat, but still gets a hit advantage. He's one away with a jump kick wow. lead, and that's chip out territory. He's got the arcing force balls. Has to watch out for the forward three fatal blow, and he gets no. the but not enough for the kill. One fourteen left, and just tries to chip out safely. No, oh. gets counter hit. Tried to be disrespectful with some negative frames. There was dragon got burned for it. Combat up one zero. That was crazy, Mr. Aquaman. Let me tell you, what a crazy series of events there in those last couple of seconds. We see that crushing blow land for Dragon, and he's kind of in a tough position, right? He uses the Warp Needle, and it's almost scary to use the Warp Needle without the Amplification, but if you go for the Amplification, you're in a position to get Flawless blocked, and we saw the Combat was able to land that successfully already. So really good start there for Combat already off the first game, but I do like the Fujin play from Dragon. I do like the Fujin. Oh, was he, is he thinking about switching? No, okay. He's sticking with the variation. Sticking with it, yeah. wasn't wasn't too crazy of a game number one too. I, I think warrant a switch. You know, it wasn't too one sided. Sure, uh, just a couple of reads here and there, a couple of huge huge jumps by combat. That's, there at that's the another end. thing. Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say one, one thing to catch Fujin off guard are some of those jumps. You know, these characters yeah. that have long lengthy normals, yeah, general generally have more recovery time on that. So if you make a read like that, they're gonna be whiffing, whiffing so, somewhere on that screen. And chances are you're gonna get the punish. That's what you saw him close out with in the micro deck to start us off here. We're getting crazy already. Yep, good start there for combat already. Okay, lands the projectile. Oh, nice back one with the whiff punish there, and immediately goes into the skywalker with the dive kick. Flawless blocking there from combat. Gotta be really careful there if you're if you're a dragon. Back throw gets uh gets caught. Oh the low, into the nut punch. Gonna push dragon all the way into the corner. Your 27% combo. What are we oh going with my now? goodness! Look, look look at the movement by combat right now. Trying to bait out buttons by dragon. Trying to get him to whiff. Dragon not falling for too much. He's gonna skywalk out and oh. get stopped in his tracks. On the way back down, he's gonna be a big confirmation here. We're gonna see some cool combos. No, not today. The breakaway. And they're going to close out there for combat. Dragon, head out. it feels like every time he's gotten the hit, there's either been a breakaway available for combat or he's just not dishing out as much damage. We haven't seen the big yep. stuff from Dragon yet. Yep. We're waiting for those big hit confirms, which is something that you can get. It's tricky with Fujin, but there is damage that's available there. Okay, nice warm made. Oh, the reversal punish. Good stuff there. Good knowledge from combat. Yep, regular one, unsafe, and it does have that gap in the uh, in the Amplify, too, which you've already seen combat blow up. So he's establishing yep. an awful lot early, and he refuses to be thrown or take any kind of high because yeah. he's a crouching. Yeah, he is. Uh, he's neutral ducking a lot, avoiding a lot of those highs. Okay, but here we go. Now Dragon's starting to play with the tricky stuff with the Skywalker, but now Dragon in the corner, combat good looking to take control. And that's going to be a really tricky spot for Fujin. Real up close uh, in those slightly negative situations. Huge whiff there. That's going to be game number two as combat coming out of the qualifiers. Looking really strong here. Up 2-0 on Dragon, who we've seen as high as placing third on the planet. Yeah. That final so here's, combat. Here's what I'm wondering, though, is as just a general note for the players throughout the, the whole tournament is, you know, 
yeah, you got the custom variations, but you got to wonder, did some of these players come prepared with second or third characters, you know, that they are like second or third pocket picks that they have or custom variations ready for, you know, because that's that's important. And if you, if if Dragon's in a position, yeah, okay, I was just about to say. I know Dragon's I do, position, and I'm not even competing in this. If Dragon's in a position where he doesn't want to continue with Fujin, switch it over now to Cetrion, which is the character that's found Dragon the most success throughout his entire run in the pro circuit. It looks like this is, it looked like it was just going to be V3 Cetrion, but it's actually not. He purposefully chose, for the same amount of resources, that's what's weird about Cetrion's customization, is that she has the buff where it's randomized, or she can yep. choose one buff for the same amount, which is two slots. Looks like mm. he has the, it looks like he has, he he, he brought the Aquaman trait from Injustice 1. She summons, <laughs> she, she, she summons a little a water aura, and she'll fall out of combos, just like Aquaman did back in, back in the Injustice days. And that's that's pretty much what he what this character is about to be is as close to an injustice character as he probably could have picked. Oh wow, nice little just raw nut punch there from combat. Oh, combat gets caught by the uh, the rock wall. And this is this is a special move uh, and a style of oh he actually he actually brought the rock so this is oh. you know if he gets hit the rock is actually going to go uh, full send to the opponent. And actually, actually got some crazy punishes. Off the screen now does give her access to a forward throw crushing blow as well. So <laughs> look for heavy reads there. Uh, but other than that, Dragon still got a lot of the strong stuff Cetrion has. Still has wall. And that tornado has been one of the biggest changes in competitive Mortal Kombat. Restanding, safe on block, pushback, the whole nine yards. Right now, though, combat in full control, still maintaining this massive life lead. We're looking at a position here where Dragon's going to have to make that only a real master comeback. Can he pull it off? He's got that fatal blow. So a couple of hit confirms and a fatal. We might see it. Nope, the down one's going to do it, and combat's now on match point. Had a little bit of frames that to work with with how early that jump kick came in, but good patience by combat. Not to, not to try to press right there and just waited out that poke from Dragon and then took his turn afterwards. And now it is match point on the hunt right now. Is combat the restand? And that's going to be a mix-up all day long oh, wow. of, of, of striker throw. Looks but like has got quite a bit of options with this variation, but okay, here we go. Combat now with a combo. What one thing that one thing just like we saw with Fujin is just you know he's he's gotten all these hits but they've been stray hits seven percent four percent here or there and uh just the, the damage isn't there to to keep up with the stray hits coming from Johnny Cage force balls doing a lot more damage and uh he's been able to access those combos which Setra just doesn't have access to especially in this variation without having the geyser Nice projectiles there. Good full screen game here from combat. Now he's going to get a good little combo. No defensive meter to break away, so Dragon's just going to have to eat that damage. One and Dragon, last lifeline. One away is combat right there. Tries to come up with the 4-3. Luckily, didn't go beyond that to get punished by the Hell's Wrath. Trying to patiently wait this out. Looking for the one opportunity. Is Dragon going to give it to him, or is a comeback going to happen? He's going to crash oh. under him, but he didn't get the punish. Could have down to a crushing blow. Could have waited on punish with a fatal blow, but not today. Give it combat another life here. Dwindling, big read there. No reaction. Oh, my God. Falling apart. Oh, man, this is so oh, intense. Oh, me? and here we go. And oh, oh. I, I, I even thought that that wasn't going to be enough to kill because it was Cetron, but wow. Combat had about... Combat had about four chances to take that. Dragon had about six. And you know what? I you, you might need to get away. You might need to get rid of that 1% uh, variation name, Dragon, because that was kind of low. <laughs> wow, look at these staggers. Really good stuff here from Dragon. Now seemingly in the driver's seat. But just as I say that, Combat answers back. He's still safe. One couple of jabs, low profiles. I love the flawless blocking here from Dragon, avoiding as much chip damage as he possibly can. Yep, there it is again. It's caught. Just an annoyance for Sestron, who, who, who can't, who can't kind of counter zone those Hell's Wraths or anything that takes her airborne. That Arcing Force Ball is going to be there and get an energy trade. Really good damage on those. And now Dragon has the lead here on the on the Prowl. Drops the 1-1-2, one, one, but that's okay. Very quick recovery on a lot of stuff that she's going to do. You see him pointing out just an active force with that stand one and wall out there all day long. And active frames are very rare here in this game. Yeah. She's got a plethora of them. Yep. Oh, nicely done there from combat. No full conversion, though, but it's all good. No meter even to really uh, get anything going. Okay, 15 seconds left. Dragon's got... Fatal blow ready. This is very intense. A very slow paced game. Full screen game. Dragon oh, looking for the hit. He, he doesn't cobble. Push yourself.
has one of the widest awesome tool sets that you can put together. There's so many things out uh, out there. He, yeah. he he has a he has a quick sand move. He, he's actually going to use it here. Uh, Shifting sands is an absolute monster of a custom only special move that Gears has. It it, it puts down uh, this this little circle of sand that's spinning and it sucks the opponent towards the center of it. It's very quick. Uh, and there you go. Now, now you're playing mm. Gears' game pretty much the entire time that is out. Right. Very hard to move, very hard to do combos. Uh, it, is, it is just nasty. And here's going to be another one. And on top of that, has the clone, the mid command grab. Rebuilding the space here. He's actually done a great job as combat of zoning one of the scariest zoners in Mortal Kombat 11 here. By, yeah. by, by choosing heavy counter zoners, especially yeah. Gears. Here. Oh, was that? No, it's not Crush. I was going to say, he didn't miss two. Okay, nice. Very, very smart use of the gauntlet there to take away. Oh, here. He's, he's, he's pushing him to the corner here. There he's stand. And wow, disrespected. That is only plus two on hits. So it's very hard for her to jail unless it's unless it's, it's like a down one. And that is it. But it's very easy for specifically Gears to disrespect because of the six frame down one. Then crushing punish. blow here. No breakaway available. He has the restand. And I don't know if he's going to have to close it out with the. F uh, no, he's not going to wow. need it here. Dragon coming to life. Our first big explosive damage that we've seen come out of him here. Beautiful looking that's, combo. That's everything Dragon could have asked for. A punish off a wake up roll. No, no possibility for a breakaway in sight. You love to see it. It looked like that tornado scaled really well. That did 411 damage off of that. For, for only what one bar and uh and a crushing blow really good stuff by dragon to optimize and oh pointing out the actor frame says press any button going this he puts out the boulders but two of them wow. missed but, but but the third one the third one saved him a couple of months ago that would have been a crushing blow there on the sand trap but of course with the recent nerfs or not recent nerfs but nerfs that gears has gotten changes sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay big combo now Coming up, and combat's gonna get a nice thirty percent off of that one. Poor choice. It's gonna be is ready though. Empty jump command grab. Everything you thought you were ready for, eating that body splash, eating that late jump kick. Not today. My goodness, this is so intense. Once again, in that position, you know, that 32, 33 percent range where if you get hit and then combo into Fatal Blow, it's over. And Dragon's gonna go for it, but the breakaway immediately oh, from like combat in the one, one, one. They were in each other's faces. I think there was three micro ducks in a row and some swinging going on. Woo. It's combat that prevails. Puts some at another match point and beautiful interruption there. That whip on by Dragon was a little risky with how close this was. But he's going to thread the needle in someone like Dragon. Definitely. And Dragon, again, in this position, in complete control, a full half of a life bar with the lead. Seemingly just chipping away at Combat's life. But okay, Combat now looking to answer back. With the freeze into the down twos. Should be a nice corner carry here. In the corner we are, and I haven't seen a, a whole lot of that shifting sand. Gonna pick up the temporal advantage. Throw out of the corner. He, it, he, he did the harder to tech throw in that situation. Yeah, he was definitely trying to avoid the tech. Oh, the empty jumps, but the immediate tech there from Dragon. And again, just like we saw Dragon. Oh, the flow is blocked oh, up to in the fatal blow. This should be it. Is it going to be enough? Maybe. That is it. it. Is. Combat has taken it. Three to one over Dragon. Sending it to the loser's side of the bracket. And with that victory, Combat going to make uh, winner's finals. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Mr. Aquaman, that was the first game of the stream. And you're telling me these guys are going to bring the hype like that? Mm. I love it. I love this it. Is, really good stuff. This is the one guy coming out of qualifiers who, who you know, out of everyone that was invited, right? They they just accepted the invite and have shown up here to play. Combat's already played through an entire bracket of customs. Yes. Had yeah. to beat the best player on the planet already, and is coming in looking like the favorite, even though he's the qualified player. Looking it's pretty crazy. scary here. It's crazy. Yeah, that was such solid stuff there. I love it. The way to end that game, a flawless block up to into the immediate Fatal Blow activation. Real big back and forth. You got to wonder, I mean, although, you know, you, we don't want the players to doubt themselves or anything, but you got to wonder if Dragon made the switch to Setrion a little sooner if that set goes out a little bit differently. But 
overall still a really good showing from Dragon. But uh, but Combat definitely proving that he's earned that final spot in this Invitational. Oh yeah, indeed. And you know, outside looking in, almost no surprise. Just just given the skill that Combat uh, has and is one of the guys that's played, especially here online um since final combat probably the probably the most out of out of almost everyone that is that is in this top eight um you know Kerbo, gur and them uh, have played in those long online series since then and done very well uh you know combat getting a lot of victories uh here and there and so he's just stayed hot here in 2020 and that's exactly where he's sitting yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. i can't give it up to him enough for the performance there and uh that's just a little slice of custom variation action that you're going to be seeing throughout this tournament. Once again, 5k prize pool on the line for these players. And, uh, oh man, we got so much action to come. It's going to be so, so hype. I'm very excited about it, dude. Sorry, 5k on the line, everyone getting paid. So, so yeah, even if you go 0 and 2 here, you get a little piece of that prize pool. And coming up next, I'll go and set up Ninja Killer versus Rewind. Ooh, I'm very hyped about this one, Mr. Rockman. This is, let me tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid like the, <laughs> the, the level of Mortal Kombat we're going to get throughout this entire exhibition is going to be scary. And yeah. one guy to look out for it, Ninja Killer. We, we in the, in the analytical field of Mortal Kombat, mm-hmm. try to, try to break down and analyze Ninja Killer. We just can't do it because we're not robots. So I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I've played against Ninja Killer. I don't, I don't know. I, it's almost inhuman, and that's what you guys are going to get to see here. That's what we're really yeah. excited for. Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. So I'm very excited about that match, though. But we also want to throw to our hosts, Camille and Drew, to talk a little bit more about what we just saw. So let's take it to them. Now, now, look, that how to end that match like that with the flaws block to, to take away from them? I know. It's insane. It was insane. That's a little crazy. It was. Well, I I want to actually mention the point that Aquaman brought up. The fact that Combat had time to warm up. He's been fighting through, right? Um, I'm... It's going to be interesting to see if he's able to keep that momentum. Now, you brought up that Fujin was an interesting choice for Dragon. What do you think of that? Well, I think Fujin's a fairly new character, so there's not a lot of time to actually discover much about the character. Even though this is like custom variation, yeah. Like even and, and it can get crazy chaotic. There's still not enough time. But man, Combat has a lot of momentum coming into this because he managed to beat Sonic Fox, and that's no easy feat. That's the best oh. player in the world right now. Well, right? and you could see there that Dragon kind of realized, like, oh crap, like dragon switched to his main right so yeah. it's gonna be interesting with players if they're gonna make that choice to kind of play a little bit the first couple rounds and then when things get real serious like when you know he's like okay i gotta get serious about it i want a piece of that money uh make that switch up to their main do you think we're gonna be seeing a lot of that this I tournament we, i think when the tournament gets deeper into deeper waters they're definitely gonna try to win more money right that's yeah. what they want to do at the end of the day even though it's, it's an exhibition these guys are competitive and there's a lot of money on the line for it especially for a one-day tournament so Kind of, I think we'll. I, I think in deeper trenches we'll see the mains come out. But for now, I'm pretty hyped for this Weewind and uh, Ninja Killer match because that's the future right there. Like if you're, you, yeah, if, outside of uh, outside of Sonic Fox, those two are probably the future of NRS, if not the present. Right? They're they're so good and they're just gonna keep getting better. And they're so young. It's crazy. No, they're so young. They're like little babies. So who do you think if you had to put money on it? Although we're not putting money on it. No, okay, making it no. clear. <laughs> Caboose owes me five bucks. You... I'm just saying, but... <laughs> Who? Well, I think I think Aquaman kind of owes you some wax. You would both have like great mustaches going on, Absolutely. and he was Absolutely. talking about his mustache wax. But um, who do you think will actually take it out of these two? Um, Ninja Killer and Rewind. People, people will probably say Ninja Killer, but I have my money on Rewind. I think I think he people are kind of sleeping on him. I think he's gonna just take it over and get to winners finals with combat. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, what our casters think. I can't wait to see um, or hear their thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, I want to say, like, do you think we're going to be seeing some crazy customizations from these two? Absolutely. I mean, they've been playing online. It's the pandemic era. So they're probably in the lab right now just trying to figure out, hey, what, what kind of crazy combinations can I do to have fun? And uh, that's what we're going to see. And I can't wait to see what they do. Because it's it's a toss up. It's it's, yeah. it's chaotic. Any anything can happen. I'd rather go to the casino right now, bet some money, <laughs> and I'll probably have a better chance of getting twenty one in blackjack than this. 
I know it's going to be hard to really call these matches. And that's the thing. I think that's what makes it so interesting because of the variations. You really don't know what you're going to expect. And I know a lot of our viewers are really excited to see that. Um, I'm just hoping that it, it's not a clean sweep. Uh, with these two going head to head, I don't think it will be. Like you said, they are the future. So we should get a fight. Um, who are you most excited to see go head to head in what we're seeing today from NA? Um. To be honest with you, I thought Rewind and Ninja Killer would probably be like winners finals. Oh, so you're getting it early. <laughs> I'm getting mad early, right? So it's yeah. cheap for me as a fan. Uh, that loser's bracket is a shark tank because it's all killers, right? We only invited yes. some of the best. And uh, yeah, whoever makes it, I think winners finals is going to have, sorry, grand finals is going to have somebody with a momentum. Oh, definitely. Yeah, well, it's going to sure. be interesting to see how long combat is able to keep that momentum going um, yeah. just because. It, it was a kind of a long fight, like that qualifying um, round. Like, 54 like, players? Like, that's, exactly. That's a, lot of players. that's a long one. And then to come back today and to really have to step up your game. Um, although Dragon you know, too, nonetheless. Exactly. So it's going to be interesting if he loses that momentum. I'm really hoping that he does it. Or if he switches it up and we see something different, you know, like um, maybe there's another Johnny variation that he's hiding in his back pocket. Or maybe there is a Baraka variation that he has that he's not holding out. Like, he's holding out on us, you know? Yeah, I'd actually want to... I think we're going to see quite a few Barakas in this <laughs> tournament, to tell you the honest <laughs> truth, right? Sure. Uh, but it'll be character. interesting. It, it is, well, he is a wild character, but it'll be interesting to see what variations come with that. But uh, let's, you know, go back to our casters and get into the next game. All right, guys, welcome back. We got the next match on stream. It's going to be Ninja Killer going up against Rewind. It's going to be the matchup that, that that we were probably looking at, too, um, if we were going to break this down coming in. You know, Liu Kang is what Ninja's been known for for a long time. Rewind. Yes. Breaking out both Orbital Hat and Z Hat. Oh, loud, my God. Whereas uh, Ninja brought the, the parry. Oh, I, I didn't see it. Look, looked like he was rocking V1. Might have an extra, uh, might have an extra trick up his sleeve right there. <laughs> and we have got just, it is not your turn, Kung Lao, on, on the other side from Rewind here. I think one of my favorite things about this tournament is going to be seeing all the custom variation names that all the players come up with, because that's great. But okay, there we go. We're seeing Rewind off to a decent start, but Ninja Killer answering back now. Going to get some amplification on the bicycle kicks. Looking to try and set up that crushing blow. Back throw. Subscribe to the only grabs. Nice, right? Nice positioning too. Right into the corner, the empty Ooh. short hop. That is such a mix up here. And I'm, I'm love, I love seeing it more so here in 2020. Empty short hop. Guys, off that short hop, you have the overhead option. You have the, the, the down three option to hit him with a quick blow. Use that hit advantage for, for strike throw. Just like you're seeing right there, that's exactly what he's looking for in that down three is the hit advantage and then a strike throw game. Everything that comes out wants. Glad to see players use that more and more as this game develops over the what, year, year and some changes been out. Yo, oh my God. That could have been an anti cross up but he wasn't able to follow up. Ninja Killer, unfortunately, getting taken down by the grab once again. Rewind off to a good start. It, it, off of that anti-crossover here, just button fatal blown would have been it. Uh, but I, I think they tried to let that juggle drop a little bit because his fatal blow is really fast. Maybe, maybe he was afraid it was going to go underneath someone right there. Absolutely. There's the activation. He's just threatening with that teleport, but he also gets the additional damage there. So a nice, almost 17% off the throw. Okay, forward four into the low projectile. Good punish with the dive kick. The Z hat, but flawless block. Ooh, and, and, you know, that that's why I called this, you know, never your turn, Kung Lao. You have to make yeah. so many guesses as to what they're going to do uh, in all these little <laughs> situations. He is absolutely abusing him here. And watch, the one time that he lets short hop, uh, kick or punch rock, it's gonna hit. He has conditioned him so much with uh, an empty short hop, uh, lower throw, but that overhead's gonna be a huge option, and he's Ooh. going to take the health lead here while he's got it. He's betting it all right now, using this fatal blow. He better hope he gets the game here, otherwise, this is gonna be a huge amount of damage potential lost. Exactly. I think that he wanted him to break away just so it would do even more damage. Ah, but, but, right. but Ninja really smart there, not doing that. Breaking away is kind of a scary thing here. Post aftermath. Oh. No, oh, those short hops are so good there. Oh. And the four throw. Just like I said, we lose that damage potential now. Rewind without a fatal blow for the rest of this game. Let's see if Ninja Killer is going to be able to take advantage of that. 
I, I was looking there at the end to see the overhead option come in, but not not a lot of damage. Would not have given him enough uh, for the victory there. He was he was looking for something to confirm and truly solidify right there, rather than try to just claw his way at the rest of that health bar. Ooh, huge swing right there, but I don't know what normal. He just threw right there. Is that the command grab? Oh, crushing blow forward throw. Okay. Oh, Big damage. It, it might be. Is that the third? Especially has it put that or or is that his reflect? Oh I yeah, tell. I think I think so. I think I think it is. I think it's the reflect because he's looking. Oh at no! Got the second oh, hit up of, of the Ford Ford a whiff, and I think that that was perfectly displayed as to why he made his custom variation. <laughs> that name, you guys just saw. Why. Oh, there's the back throw once again. Oh, that's a crushing blow. Oh my God, we got crushing blow throws oh, all over the place. Like that's huge, and that's gonna be potentially the game. I believe so. I think that is going to do it in coming down to what essentially was a rock, paper, scissors situation there in the corner. Not gonna Ooh, wait, no. Hit. It's going to be Magic much. Pixel. Never say never. He's got no. Oh, oh, he had no defensive bar left, and he put some recovery frames on the screen. That was unfortunate. He just jumped. I, I think that would have clipped his toes right there. But awesome game number one. That was close. That was, that you was can up see. and down already. You can see the damage on Liu Kang there that he's he's definitely been through it in that match. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. Really good first match there. That immediate wake up roll into the punish with the fatal blow. Definitely what helped Ninja. That's the rock, paper, scissors. At the end there, when you knock someone down, you're yeah. like, you know, that, how how many options do they have? Invincible up three, anti-air up two, they have wake up buttons, they have uh they have the, the delay wake wake up neutral up. jump. Yeah, you know? they have they have wake up forward roll, they have wake up back roll, and so you pick one, you stick to it, <laughs> and sometimes you're wrong, just like rewind was right there. Ninja takes game number one. Definitely one of the favorites coming into this is Ninja. I mean, it, it can't be denied. We're we're talking about the second best Mortal Kombat player on the planet, yeah. and what's crazy is that even talking with everyone, I think that that's not a dispute. No, no, absolutely not. It's, it, I mean, you, you look at something like Final Combat too, it's just the proof is in the pudding there. One of the best players competing in Mortal Kombat 11. And without a doubt, I'd say, you know, I wouldn't Ooh. even say just number two. It's like a 1A, oh 1B goodness. kind of thing between him and Sonic. But nice stuff there from Ninja Killer to start off this second game. He comboed off of that reflect, by the way. That was pretty Ooh. beefy, right? Oh my goodness, again? Did he do it again? Holy smokes. Okay, okay, hold on a second. <laughs> Wait. Wait, are we sure Ninja Kill is human? I'm I'm sure he is. <laughs> what? Wow. What? Wait. I'm not sure which way that dive kick was planned to go. I didn't sign I up for this. I didn't sign up for this. I, I don't know. If, I don't know if they signed up to watch this. What in the world? We just saw instant, instant interactable dive kick back into the corner and die here by a stand one. That is how I know he's not human. That's something <laughs> That's something AI does on hardest. I don't want to hear anything else. Nice text there. Okay, this is going to be good damage for Ninja Killer. And once again, just getting closer and closer to setting up that crushing blow. And the armor breaker mm. going to go for the, the crushing blow. 40% damage off of that. A healthy, healthy amount of damage off of just that reach. Yeah, wait a minute. This, this health lead is all of a sudden gone to pick oh, up. Oh, no. Oh, not like this. Still has another opportunity here. He has to eat eat some staggers. Oh my oh, goodness. That was a scary throw. That could have gotten him killed. No breakaway Terrifying. available. This is coming down to one read. One big decision. Is he going to bet everything to stay alive here? Does that fatal blow back? The seconds has transpired. He has to work his way through this zoning. Okay, little hat. Oh, it can shut down completely. That hat's gone for a couple of seconds. The throw. Escape failed. Even if Rewind walks away with this round, that crushing blow throw will threaten and the immediate down one off of the teleport. Oh, and he's gonna convert a combo off of it. Okay, Ninja Killer styling on us. That was testing Ninja Killer's reactions, which you almost that's 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 a no-go. Again, <laughs> robotic, so quick on reacting to stuff, even in neutral, he's just walking around the screen. And you saw him, uh, you saw everyone make the really big read of trying to catch him moving forward with a one, two out there at, at sweet distance. Yes. And, he, and he whiffed the entire thing. Ninja saw it, even though one, two is really quick. He saw that reacted so fast and uh, uh, dash canceled up into his face and threw him because he closed that gap so quick. He reacted to it, knew that he wasn't gonna, gonna get a whiff punish, but he was gonna be able to catch rewind in, in a negative situation where they're respecting. And that is where the, the, the strike throw uh, is, is so deadly, but Ninja Killer just taking that that respect and, and throwing you for it. That happens a lot. 
but it's because of the movement yes. of Ninja Killer. That's what sets it up is, is the movement and the reactions that are just another level. Oh, absolutely. You're, you're 100% right. In that situation, like, yeah, maybe if you're playing against somebody where so many things are happening, you can kind of throw out that teleport, you know, if you have it before. But in, if you're playing against Ninja Killer, you can't be doing stuff like that. And the immediate neutral duck there off of the throw. Combat league tactics right. are very hard to use against <laughs> these tournament players, guys. It's, you know, it can work because it can catch them off guard uh, because they're, they're used to certain, you know, competitive play styles. Uh, but at the same time, I think that they've been grinding these these uh, skins of Combat League with you. I mean, the, the one on Kung Lao right now. So th they're used to these oh, tactics, sick. dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice oh. projectile reflection. There's that combo into it, just like you're talking about. Ridiculous and he, stuff. And, and, and he has to know the exact distance that he parried that at, if he's going to pick it up with bicycle kick or if he's going to pick it up with flying kick. And yeah. that, to me, is disgusting, because I'm not, I'm not even... I can't even think of the first time. I can't even reflect the thing on reaction. Yeah, I was going to say, I wouldn't be ready to reflect the projectile, let alone get ready to follow up on that. Match point now for Ninja trying to make winners finals alongside combat. And Ninja versus combat has been finals of so many online events. This would just be a rivalry continued. But let's, let's not give on rewind here. A lot of those uh, short hops coming back into play. And that's the hat. Wow. It hadn't reached its full orbit yet. Found the gap. Sweep there now. Oh, nice conversion off the cross up. And the throw. Those dash ins. Ninja Killer in complete control here. Rewind, looking to find something. Copy the projectile. Okay, nice tech. Oh, oh short oh, hop. Oh, oh, oh. I think that that was unintentional. He's gonna take it anyway. I think that he tried a flawless block uh, up to right there. Oh, and, okay. And and coming out was a short hop punch. But that's the thing. That's that's the mix up. I I, I just assume that these players are that good. And that, and that something like that, just kind of a raw uh, short hop punch is them putting that in. But at the same time, it also, it's kind of a win-win when you go for that in that situation and, and that they're able to catch a couple of stray hits like that and cover, uh, you know, the flawless block option as well. And that's something that you'll only see at this level of Mortal Kombat. 100%. And I mean, man, Ninja Kill, that, I love that custom variation. That That's something that you'll definitely only be seeing for players at like the highest level. Like if I make that custom variation, it looks like bottom tier. But if Ninja Kill is rocking with that stuff, clearly what you could see there is he's utilizing and taking advantage of everything in his arsenal with the projectile reflection comboing into it. That stuff started to add up and he was finding plenty of opportunities to utilize it. So that's what's that's where the fun of this tournament comes in. And Ninja Killer was able to put that on in full force. So I love it. I love it, man. That was that was a hype set. Absolutely. It's going to be guaranteed top three here of the tournament, making right. winners finals up against combat. That's going to happen a little bit later on in the bracket, ladies and gentlemen, as we're going to jump down into losers round number one. Coming up next is going to be Kerbo versus Gerbo. While we set that up, let's go ahead and toss it to our hosts to talk about that last match. Yeah. Oh, no. okay. Never no mind. toss here. Are we, uh, are we jumping right into this next match? Cause I'm down. Okay. All right, let me, let cool. me get some invites out for this next match. It's going to be Kerbo licious. <laughs> Going up against the Gur, you know, uh, Kerbo coming into 2020, uh, incredibly hot. We were talking about before this event, coming in with a really big online win from the Coliseum. Right. Uh, that was sensational. That was one of the scariest grand finals I've seen from an individual ever. And, and I've casted, I don't, I don't know how many tournaments. Right. And, and Kerbo's a, a vet of the NRS scene, right? Coming, coming from, from MK9. I mean, he won MK9 a combo breaker and, and all that. So like he's, you know, He's he's been around. He's he's played these games for years. So it's really cool to see him performing as well as he is in MK11. You know, winning the Coliseum now here in this Invitational. Going to be going up. Sorry, let me check the bracket once again. Going to be going up Gurr. against Gur, which should be really fun as well to see both these players competing against each other. Gur, I remember did see I did see a little bit of Garrus from him. I mean, you know, we've uh, we've always we always known or ha have seen Gur play a lot of Garrus. Um, but I think. We do have a bracket for you guys if we want to throw to that to see uh, to see how everything's been going down so far. Yep, this is going to be losers round number one. Kerbo yes. versus Gur, and this has happened a few times on the Coliseum too. These were these were two of the top like three or four seeds of that entire event, and mm -hmm. again, again, no surprise they're here. I think that we're going to see. I don't. I I I honestly want to see out of Kerbolicious. Um, 
maybe a, a little more MK90 style. He 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 has just started playing, uh, and he won the Coliseum with the Mean Streak variation right. of Cabal, uh, which has the Nomad Dash cancel. But because this is customs, he has access to all of the fun we had in the beta with Cabal, and I almost want to see the Air Dash come into play. Yo, you I don't think, think that Kerbo is going to play another character besides Cabal, but I hope that right. we get to see uh air dash cabal and just too much damage i think we're gonna see uh air dash and and hook slam that's that's a huge read though and from gur it's gonna be some form of gears uh it's, it's gonna be i think what we saw out of uh combat as well where he's right. gonna have the the the, the sand that he, that, that he can put down and disrupt movement right um he may play a little more zony though i don't know if he's gonna take the sand trap that closes the gap uh, yes. or, or, or we, keeps a full screen. We've seen Gur do that before, where he just, he plays Garrus from like the full screen, but hold on, okay. Gur actually going to be playing Shiva, and this is something else that I, I guess we Wait, kind of forgot oh, to mention, but should custom mention. Custom Shiva. Yeah, we got we got all those oh. new DLC characters. I mean, we did see Dragon playing Fujin earlier, so so we got all those new DLC characters completely 100% legal, and just like you said, Kerbo going to be going with Cabal. He's going to be cabal here, so that should be interesting. Got the spins. Got the spins. Got the spins. <laughs> Too it slow. Gonna, it is going to be hook grab, dash cancel, <laughs> low hook grab is, is what Kerbo's bringing the table. Uh, Gur bringing Tremor, Dragon Charge, and, and Dragon Stance. stance. Okay. Wow. I interesting loadout here. He's, he's going to have the unblockable uh, stomp from from anywhere on the screen. He's going to have the confirmable shield. I yeah, think I was going to say the Dragon Charge is the shield, the right? One. And then the back forward three stance. Okay, never mind. He brought... Mm. This is this is what I was afraid of when, when, when I saw Custom Shiva. Yes. You, you guys are gonna see some some shenanigans. <laughs> oh this, man. This character's scary. This this character is scary. And and Shiva having that wake up up three, you know, what? being a grab, which is crazy. Oh my god, the Nomad Dash. Okay, nicely done. Now Kerbo is gonna get some combos in. Whoa, going for the anti-air there with a the projectile. Oh, oh. a little too early on that jump too from Kerbo. But he, he likes to do it early because it's really hard to hit die air. Get a big confirmation with 2 4. And he brought that dash cancel for that pressure. Breaks out the fight. Look at this. She breaks out an entire arsenal <laughs> of zoning weaponry with that fire. And, and she can combine the it there. Ah, oh, the unblockable go. stomp. Hold oh, on. Oh, here we, here we go. Oh, he's not going to combo. Wow. Oh, I would have cried. Yo, can you imagine you can combo into the stomp? That would be nuts. <laughs> just, just guarantee three in a row for the crushing blow. <laughs> and good luck out zoning. Four projectiles in her arms. He tried to get a guaranteed back forward four right yes. there. That, that that does break armor. Yeah, I think that's what he was looking for exactly. Oh boy. Got the whip. Ooh. That's gonna be it. That's Ex it. Extra damage on the breakaway. Don't gotta worry about scaling here. Yep. Nicely done there from Kerbo. That's just a, a perfect example of just playing patient, even though the clock is winding down, even though you're backed up against the wall with the life or with Gur having the life lead, you just wait for your turn, get that one, one, one into the fatal blow and takes the round there. Nicely done from Kerbo. Oh, try to jump in to get a punish, but wasn't able to time it just right. One thing I'm seeing is that those are highs, but the fact that you can amplify for that really slow mid, it's kind of scary here. And, and having the options of the unblockable um, and the armor break, I could definitely see why Gur broke this out here. Definitely. Okay, nice little combo here for Kerbal Lysis. No defensive meter for Gur to break away from this one, so this is just going to be full combo conversion. Nice 31%. One bar. Having that hook slam alone means that Cabal is going to be pumping out some serious damage too on every hit. Let's see how much how much he's going to get here off of the single bar right back at you. Came off the second one. Now, if you move, you are bleeding. You'll take yep. damage for moving, but not on the Nomad Dash. But he's still eight, 18 and a half percent on that projectile <laughs> or four projectiles, I should say. The projectile yeah. combo. Solid stuff there, Gur. Oh. Come back. Oh, that's going to be a punish. Oh no, not able to get the full conversion though, unfortunately. Gotta be really careful here. And there we go. Gur gonna tie things up now. One to one Good here. I, I agree. We haven't seen too too big of a back and forth or or, or close game here so far on these stream matches. Someone someone's gotta give us a game five here, Caboose. I need it. 100 percent yeah. I need I need hype like that too. I'm sure we're gonna see it. I'm sure. He said, you're hooked. Got the spins. Cabal and Oz punishable, <laughs> but Kerbo probably seeing that. Probably only for the third time on block since Aftermath came out. You know, 
not a whole lot of competitions since Aftermath dropped and uh, Fujin, Shiva, and Robocop have been released. That's so, right. They, so these guys probably don't have a lot of experience against characters like this so far. And, and I got to say, you know, custom variations or not, this character, Cabal, yeah, has on, one on of the of scariest, he has one of the scariest armor-breaking moves in the game with that hook slam. It almost makes you afraid to break away, which in turn gives him so much damage he can get away with. And there we go, we see Kerbo getting that first game. Hold on, is that a friendship? Oh no, a fatal mm, off the first this is game? This special. First wow. Game, first game fatal. Mm. Wow, oh man. Mm. One of the most brutal fatals in the game. I always like to call it the fatality if the if the flash was uh, was in an M rated game. That's a precise shot to get all four arms in half like that. <laughs> it's kind of impressive if you think about it. I, I mean, yeah, you gotta give it up to Cabal. He's Cabalin right now. Really good stuff. But yeah, just like I said, you know, Cabal's got that scary armor breaking with the hook slam, and it just it puts you in a position where you're like. I don't know if I could break away. I kind of just got to eat this damage. There are some characters that break away is just something that you take away from your <laughs> your arsenal. It's it's not something yeah. you want to use against like a bullet Kotal Khan where everything goes into the armor break, a V3 mm. Shao, where or uh, you know where everything goes into an armor break that will either crushing blow or uh, just do an awful lot of damage, restand, right. all kinds of stuff. Kano having one as well. You just don't break away from Kano ever. Yep. You just yep. don't do it. You just gotta eat the damage, seriously. And and, and come on, one of them because it's his it's his combo ender. It's 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 what he can do off of every single one of his launchers mm -hmm. that shuts it down. And if you do, he gets a massive reward off of it. It's almost like to a point where you're like, okay, let me just break away early, let him get rid of that crushing blow, so it's not as much of a threat going forward or something. And we're seeing it's, the exact loadout from Gur here, the swap yep. to what combat brought to the table, which is which is the uh, clone the sand that disrupts movement and he's going to have the regular uh sand trap to close the distance yep and dark side is according to garris here rocking the dark side skin uh there we go that is so does nothing but special moves what? ignore it special moves are, are something that ignored that barely whiffs by the way yeah i was uh, gonna say so kerbo actually really prepared right there you know that that first challenge can catch a lot of gears is off guard mm -hmm. but Gurr was ready Back throw there for Blitzes. Okay, getting a little bit of an anti-air. No follow-up though. Kerbo looking for an opening. Oh, Kerbo was looking for that overhead. He wanted the crushing blow early. The true 50-50. Nice on the block. We got the up two right there. Definitely would have worked out. Kerbo fell to Dragon in the first round of this event. It was three to one. So definitely put up a fight here. Yeah, this is huge too, by the way, guys. This is the loser's round. So kind of do or die for both of these players. Loser remains home. <laughs> Just stops playing. Here anyway. There's that low 50-50 time with Gurus. Oh, I was about oh. to say, ju jumping at Gurus, fatal blow. That should have gotten punished twice in a row. Uh, but testing Gurus' reactions, and it wasn't quick enough two times in a row. It just meaties wow. with it. That was risky. If, if that would have fully whiffed, I would have half expected Kerbo to possibly get a punish there. Yeah. If you'd have done a, a, a slight delay, can you can you punish with the fatal blow? Is is Cabal's fatal blow fast enough to punish off of the sand trap? He blocked it. Maybe. He is a speedster after all. He does got the spin. He's got it. <laughs> That's ooh. wow, wow. That is working out really well there. Though shifting sand is. It's like slowing him down. It's slowing him down enough to where it doesn't go full screen and he keeps whipping right in front of Gurr's face. Yep. He's like, thank you for this punishable opportunity. <laughs> thank you for this gift. Gurr right now with a healthy life lead. Kerbo looking to make this comeback. Okay, the throw was tech. That gets rid of the crushing blow that was locked and loaded earlier. Mm, I said projectile. Forward 2-2 two, two. into the Nomad dash. Here comes oh, the combo now. Big cash out damage. Could have kept that really simple and gone for the breakaway. So Gurr had an opportunity, but it's a mind game. If, if he would have broken away, he could have gotten crushing blood for it. Yep. We're seeing a lot of games go to the end of the time limit. There's a nice back throw from Turbo. Really intense here. Okay, Gurr is looking like he's just gonna back up and try and chip away at Kerbo's life, but I don't know if he's got the time to do that. He goes for the fatal blow, but it's not gonna be in range. Oh, it's gonna pick up not enough though. We're to the corner. 83. Damage, he's got the life lead. Eight seconds. Oh no, wow. it's cut. The wake up, oh, I got the punish. One, one, oh my God. 
It, there was barely enough time for that one one to sneak in for the punish. Gur ties us up in a game apiece. We got a oh. tough set. <laughs> and Gur answers back. Look at the hype on Gur right there. He popped off after that one. And he uses the uh, the fatality now. Oh my god. Mm, right back at you, says Gur. We've got ourselves a match. Okay. All right. You know, I think they heard you, Akaman. You were saying we, we need a game five set. And they need like, a game All five. Right. All right. We'll bring it to you. Love it. Looking Love at this it, bracket, though. every match could go to a game number five. Oh, but seriously. That's why the matches are played. Because you never know what's actually going to transpire. And coming up after this, we're going to have a battle of the Commander Brothers. It's going to be Honey Bee oh, going man. up against Biohazard. Yeah, and, in, and in customs? Anything goes. Biohazard brings in both oh. of the like armor and damage dealing characters in the game. And right. that that yeah, he has he has a custom codal that's full damage. He has a custom uh terminator with the with, with the hyper armor, but with yep. the armor breaking meta that has happened, he he actually may not bring Terminate Terminator. And I think that we may see just a variation of Kano, given how Kano is currently playing the game with that new armor break and restand yeah. and things like that. Like that K Kano's looking scary from what I've seen since the changes we haven't seen I mean, a lot of Kano so has been scary <laughs> i'm here learning <laughs> yeah we're, we're all learning together here what the what the current meta is and you're right he was scary when that character was absolutely garbage so <laughs> we'll see what happens here but you actually bring up an excellent point about uh about the terminate move i totally forgot that yeah like it's an armored move so it could still be shut down by those armor breakers okay there's that shifting sands and look at him jumping nowhere <laughs> he took to the skies and yes nice pickup by Gur, so good at that, you know, rocking the Eternal Gears for a long time. In those tournaments, and whips again! Wow. Wow, that is definitely proving to be the toughest thing that Kerbo has to deal uh -huh. with in this tournament, is that shifting sand and the inability to get the Nomad Dash to work. This is oh, all Gur. When, when Gur has like space to play with, that's when Gur's playing his Apex Mortal Kombat 11. Right. Oh my god, those shifting sands. You can see Kerbo thinks he's out of it, but he's still just on the edge. Okay, that down one. Ooh, for the instant air. And that's going to be the round going to Gur. Looking to go up 2-1 now in this set, potentially. Kerbo got to fight back. Yeah, Gur's, Gur's finding his groove here. Now that he's had a little bit of breathing room, uh, Kerbo very aggressive in that game number one. When Kerbo's on you, his, his mix-ups and stagger game are very hard to deal with. And that jump forward turned into a neutral jump because of that uh special move so that actually came back to bite girl right there right Kerbo was able to get a combo straight to the corner he's applying his oh. pressure and there's Gur showing off the flawless block on the anti-air that's that's an anti-air that's that's a three frame window i thought anti airing with a six frame button was was hard you gotta time that within that small of a window are you kidding me yeah seriously and i just noticed as well that the stage they're playing on this must be uh garris's favorite stage with that corner interactable the time crystal you gotta wonder if that'll come wonder, into play i wonder if you can time crystal combo and then combo into the uh temporal advantage and freeze him twice <laughs> just get like 15 down twos in there <laughs> i don't know that i guys we need to love that i believe i saw a combo with that, that included a lot of down twos I don't know if it was uh, specifically Garrus. I mean, we're not even playing Mortal Kombat anymore. We're, we're playing the floor is lava, apparently. <laughs> nice cancel there on the Nomad Dash. Okay, there's the Body Splash and the throw. Okay, that Fatal Blow territory that we always talk about. Oh, Gur, great. looking to get that one little hit confirmed. 10 seconds to go. Oh my God. Todd, Todd. Oh! 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 And that is... <laughs> That was Huge. just a, a, a remarkable, remarkable buzzsaw by Kerbalicious right there. Cannot believe that he was able to squeeze that out. And, you know, again, probably the best ball on this planet able to pick up into that helmet dash. Nice back throw. Oh, oh shifting oh, stand once again. That's dirty. I love comboing into that. Making someone whiff and it sets up so many punishes for you. Ooh, the sweet back of ball. That man, goes for your, that man goes for your ankle with both hooks. He's he's taking that thing out. Again, we're getting really jumpy here. The breakaway. Gonna put him back to the corner. Cannot get hit here, but he's a scrapper. He likes being up close in your face. Just Kerbo. That's his favorite spot to be. 
And that's, and that's one of the most un... That's where a lot of people are uncomfortable. Is when you're right in someone's face and right in that down one range, it, 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 it feels like it's... It's a barren wasteland of, of what can happen, but that's where he's most comfortable. Yeah. Not, not with his back to the corner against Gears here, though. <laughs> Definitely oh, not ideal. No. Oh, that's a huge whiff on it. Oh no! The shifting sand almost screws up Gur there. Oh, he's, he's out of range. Yep, okay. Now, he's sorry. Uh, so, so, so we're in a position here where where Kerbo. Oh no! Gets oh, caught. Is that, that gonna be crushed? That might be it. Oh. oh. That's close. We're in a position here where it seems that Gur technically does have the advantage on the health bars. But oh my goodness, one little hit. The back throw. That's gonna waste so much time though. Hold on, Aquaman. Two seconds. Gonna be able to make this comeback, comeback attack. Attack it up. Jump is not gonna connect. That's not gonna be enough. Gur walks away with it off the time limit. Just stands there and blocks it. Are you kidding me? Off of that, off of that, that jump kick. If, if there was one more second on the on the clock, it may have been enough chip. I don't know. I don't do math. Even I don't want to do math. But I'm pretty sure that 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 it may have been enough chip or. Girl was gonna flawless block it, avoid the chip, and then I was gonna leave the call and not come back. Two things could have happened right there. So Gur goes up 2-1 now in that set. We're getting fatalities every match, by the way. <laughs> I love the disrespect here for both of the players. Some good fun. We're giving the audience what they want to see. 100 percent Because how many times do you enter enter any form of a competitive stream? And there's always one to 7,000 people that go, why aren't the players doing fatalities? <laughs> it's true. And it's you true. guys are getting it here. You know, j j just to answer that question, it's it's because it, it, it takes up time and a lot of people want to jump right back in. Yes. But there are people that like to do fatalities and let it rock and let it sink in. And Kerbo does that. Kerbo has been a master of the mind game. Mm -hmm. the mind games since mortal kombat 9 he would try everything in his power to get into his opponent's head right by any means necessary and that's why you see these game one fatals and every game fatal from him because he just wants to get inside his opponent's head Gur, one of the strongest mentally and he whips a, a he whips a stand to and puts out a nomad dash anyway and it catches Gur uh jumping what a start here from both of these guys this is match point for Gur, who has made this comeback half after after the game number one looked like kerbo yeah, Gur, Gur flicked the switch. He has figured it out here after that first game. He gets fatality off their first game. He's like, all right, I'm pull, I'm pulling out Dark Side. Dark Side is okay. Nice cancel on the Nomad mm. Dash. There we go. Good jump in. That's up. That Whoa! He put out everything right there. Teleported the down two. Left the self punishable. I don't know what read he was looking for right there. It's hard to make a read on Cabal doing a high. Yes. He has 17 mids. Also, Definitely. really smart there from Kerbo to go for the, uh, for the first frame. He saw. He's got a wonderful stagger with, with his ones. That's the only high that he's going to see from him. Uh, stand one, 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 and one, 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 all being safe. And it's a very quick uh, high into a mid. So it does shimmy a lot of people. And then it sets up those mid staggers. And that's why he, that's why he brings in the my dash cancels, because it can be his turn for quite some time. And some of those cancels you really got to respect because he has the nine frame mid that can pop you. And, and, and What's uh what's Gur or uh, I was gonna call him Gurus, but I, let, let's go with that. What's Gurus's armor breaking? Is it the it's the sand trap, right? It, it is the sand trap. Ooh, tries to, tries to catch him blocking low right there. I like what Gur attempted using that sledgehammer. Good block yes. by Kerbo. I would have got hit. Oh, nice jump in. Seeing a lot of jumping from Kerbo, trying to avoid those shifting sands as much as possible. Ooh, the down one into the standing one. Nomad dash now. Big combo coming from Kerbo. Gonna get some decent 25% damage off of it. Now Gur answering back. Mm. Say four has the space now. He's, he's gonna teleport out of the corner. Very smart stuff. Avoids that traveling amplified buzzsaw, which does pick up. Yeah, has, has a little more of a launch to it th than that regular buzzsaw. But even regular buzzsaw, if it, if it clips, you're able to get that that nomad dash. But you gotta be really ready for that to hit. Plus frames. That was double digit plus frames too. The stand two, not jailing off of that. Probably, it probably ready on both sides. Probably meant to forward two. Again, almost to time oh. limit here. Every game. Man, every match. Oh! Oh! He the tested, one thing you don't do. Tested Gur's reaction there. The one thing you don't do when Gur, or sorry, when Garrus has a fatal blow, is jump in. 
And Gur was ready that time with the activation on the fatal blow. Oh, big punish. Sorry about the leg. Oh, man. Did you hear Garrus there too? He was pissed. Okay, here we go. Oh, no! the hurt. You knew it was going to happen eventually. 356 damage later, and a shot at the title as Kerbal is trying to send us to our first game five of this broadcast. Only the second one that might happen here in this tournament. Beautiful stand one anti air two, and this is all momentum for Kerbalicious. This could be that a it? close for the kill, and it That's is. That's it. So much damage. Game oh. five, fourth fatal on the screen, and here we go. They they literally heard you, Aquaman. They literally heard you. They said, "You want a game five? We'll give you one." Great. You love to see it. A really intense back and forth between these players. It's just, I don't know. It's it's almost evenly matched. I love it. Yeah, I would not have picked a winner clearly. I think if we were going to this matchup, uh, and, and I could probably say that a few times tonight. You right. know, we right. we do we do have our favorites, but everyone here got invited for a reason. It's because they're darn good at Mortal Kombat. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Is there going to go into game five here? I don't think we see any character switches because it's been such a back and forth. I think that, that I, th I think that the pattern that we see, you know, custom is fairly new, especially to the competitor. Mm -hmm. But we see a lot of people just use what they're most comfortable with, with a slight change. One one extra tool, you know, added to the arsenal and the, the, the combinations of, of what's already competitive. And that's what that's what we've always kind of wanted to see out of customs was that it's not going to be too game changing. It's just going to give people a little more variety and a little more freedom with their character to do a little bit more. And we're still seeing, seeing some really cool Mortal Kombat out of it. But we're seeing those... Those slight tweaks come into play from each and every single one of these players and characters so far. I completely agree with you, man. I completely agree. And this is it now. Game five. Both of these players. An absolute slugfest. Who is going to take it? Wow. Beautiful again. forward movement there by Kerbo says, you know, if you're Kerbalicious, I think the name of the game is going to be Don't Let Gur Breathe. You know, I, I think that he wants to be aggressive the entire time, be up in his face. The the, the full screen game full screen game hasn't fully totally been working unless Ooh. that particularly hits, and it most certainly does here from Kerbo. Yeah, solid stuff there, and I absolutely agree with you. Yeah, he's got to be in Gur's face. He's got to try and avoid as many opportunities as he can for Gur to activate that Shifting Sands. Because once Gur has Shifting Sands out, it becomes a very difficult game. As you can see, they're not even able to get the combo conversion because the Nomad Dash is stopped by those Shifting Sands. And oh my goodness, oh, the setup by Gur. Oh man, backing up full screen. He doesn't There's have no the life lead though. Oh, no. I'm, I'm shocked that he didn't do a turn on his I like his use of that, too, of that aerial buzzsaw just being annoying, avoiding the sand traps. And that's why I've always liked uh, Cabal in this matchup because he, he has a threat against sand traps. Always. Oh, this is big damage. Not enough for Grenade to close up, but he sets that up, and he can just read for it. Oh. That went a little too late on the fatal blow, and it's given Kerbo life. Oh, man. Again, time is running out. Ten seconds left to go. Oh, he blew up the cancel! He knew what? it was coming! What a call out. Full read from Gur right there to put himself on match point. That wow. was ballsy. Brilliant. Brilliant. I love the pop-offs too from Gur. You can tell how into this match right now he is. I love it. Okay. Kerb out here just short hopping again, avoiding the sand traps. And he has had a huge success rate with those bus slots. I thought he was going to slow that down here. But it's, it's been working out. Okay. Still gets the damage off that no man dash, unfortunately. They just shut down from the breakaway there. Okay, Gur now. Looking to, looking to close this out as he is on match point. And once again, this is the loser side of the bracket. So these players are fighting to continue their run in this tournament. Mm, oh, crush. Up. No breakaway. Big damage on deck. If he can get the combo, yes, this hurts. Wow. Big stuff there, 357. Could have kept it going too if he had that second bar. It looked like he, he was getting it as he did the combo. Just yeah. not enough. Yeah. Just Reza, about 50% life there for Kerbo. Kerbo there's a fatal down. blow and a down two crushing blow, so anything is possible. Good break. Wow. Yeah, really smart stuff there from Gur. He was ready for it. 
25 seconds left on the block, though. Oh, he could end the round there with the crushing blow, but he opts to go for the combo, not spending the crushing blow just yet. Final round, final match. These players battling it out here. Lose first match of the loser's bracket. Loser of this is done for the night. Winner gonna advance and have to play 17 more matches to even get a victory here. <laughs> but it begins here, Caboose. It starts with this. Definitely nice cross-up punish there from Kerbo here. He's gonna get some good damage. No breakaway in sight for Gur. And he combos into the interactable for a healthy 38%. Mm. There. He he is feeling it right now. This is Kerbo in that tournament winning mode right now. Receive the aggression. Oh, Every right no. read. He's in Gur's mind. Big damage, and that is gonna be close to the kill. Not enough 40 for me. Enough. Just doing the stand forward, oh. jump in, and everything working out. Kerbo when he needed it most. Bringing the magic. Game five, another friendship? fatal. Is it a friendship? Nope. No. <laughs> just just drag him here. No friendship here today. Kerbo popping mm. off a little bit on stream there. You love to see it. A very intense game five final round set between Gur and Kerbo. And that does unfortunately end Gur's run in the tournament. But you got to give it up. You got to give it up to Gur. Yeah. Playing his heart out. I love it. Really good stuff. And you saw, you know, both sides of the coin. We we, we had the player cams up and Kerbo grabbing it, pointing to his face, just smiling. And if you guys watch competitive Mortal Kombat 11, you you know as much as I do, seeing seeing a Gur loss hurts every single time. I if know, it I if know. it shows Gur on camera, we we all get in our feels. <laughs> We're all hurting. Like, yeah. like that's that's just the way it is. Yeah. Uh, Gur is. But just, I love I love his passion for the game. Guy. Yeah. You know, I love his passion for the game. I love that the match. That, that's what shows so much to him. Definitely. That's what shows right there is that he he cares so much, just has a love for it, and just wanted to 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 keep playing for you guys he wanted yeah. to keep winning you know and and play not just to win but also because he just enjoys it so much i don't think i've met someone that enjoys these games quite as much as him because Without i will be doubt. i will be in a chat with him and he'll say can we talk about round number two soundtrack on on <laughs> dead sea and i'm like what oh my you God. know like that kind of passion for the game really comes through with kerbo <laughs> kerbo get the win there uh you know a little bit of a surprise if you look at just the pro competition last year, but seeing how things have happened in the off season, uh, I guess is what we can call it. Uh, but Kerbalist is getting the win. Yeah. 2020 is going to be interesting for Mortal Kombat. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. So yeah, just like you said, that does unfortunately end Gurr's run here in the tournament. Kerbo going to be moving on into losers round two to face off against Rewind, which should also be a very intense set between two of some of the top competition in this game. But what I do want to give it up to Gurr. Pulled up with some real crazy stuff with Garrus there. Showed off some awesome custom variation greatness. And, I mean, he was one of the players invited. He he earned and deserved a spot in this top eight. So, shout-outs to Gur. Shout-outs to Gur for, for pulling up. I and, love it. I mean, you know, look at the bracket. He showed up and went game five with combat. Yeah. Who who went on the three one dragon and then and then falling in a game five to Kerbo that's 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 not a poor performance at not all not at all not at all yeah good stuff there from Gur and then Kerbo will be moving on and uh, but I do believe our next match coming up is going to be the battle of the brothers I'm pretty sure right is that correct? yes yes it is Honeybee and Biohazard I've already got invites out we're gonna get this thing oh, a rolling this is gonna be an exciting one I, I, I hope that we're gonna see a Kano or a 1700 <laughs> damaging Kotal out of <laughs> just out a of touch Biohazard. of death Kotal yeah yep. and out of out of Honeybee may, maybe some kind of custom Devora. I don't have too much experience with this yes. maybe a Cassie you know she he, he she's, could go she's new got some changes you Noob's know new got some cool stuff too yeah new noob, noob is the one that I play perfect the most noob, custom yeah. variation with perfect newbie got sickle snag the amplified yep. teleport you know and and low uh slide slide yeah yeah it's the it's the ultimate variation for the character and we did see you know starting off in Mortal Kombat 11 although it's been a long time since MK11 launched but starting off in the pro scene, we were seeing Honeybee specifically playing with Noob Cybot. So you got to wonder: Does he return to that character, or does he stuck, or does he stick with the grossest character in Mortal Kombat history, <laughs> yes. being Devora? <laughs> well, let's go and take a look. We're at the character select screen for Biohazard and Honeybee. Yes, and they are taking their time there. That's that's, that's, the, that's the longest. <laughs> this is the longest I've seen no one move on the character select screen. By yeah, the way, it's been 15 seconds, <laughs> and we're still on Scorpion and Sub Zero. 
So are they are they, are they talking about it right now? Are they are they are, are they are they waiting on their character choice? Really curious what we're gonna see here as we jump in. Yeah, absolutely. Just waiting on these players to see what they're gonna do. I mean, are they are they gonna are they there? Are they gonna pick a character? Are they gonna pick a character? <laughs> oh, I think that <clears throat> I think oh. that they were looking to see if they were gonna get their cameras on. But uh, it, okay, okay, it, okay. it looks like a no go, and we're jumping there right it in. Is. Yes, yes. This is this is this is why he calls this variation Bane, is because he has access to three different damage buffs. Yeah. So so just just like we called it, uh, Honeybee going with Noob Cybot, Bio going with um with Codal. This is this is what I call perfect Codal versus perfect Noob. This is you get, con, con cut damage totem command grab. You got to tell me. Sorry, go continue. continue yeah. Versus versus the, the, the sickle slag, right? But how do you pronounce that special move? The down back two for Codal. How do you pronounce it? Oh, please, command grab. Okay. <laughs> so we can't we can't give we can't say the name. We can't nope. really get the name. <laughs> command grab. What's his, what's his down for two special in Bullock? It's it's his sword. It's, his, it, 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 it's what I call paddle. I was a war god main back in MKX. And right. these, 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 these Machia 2 I'm good. Use the kiss method. Keep it simple. <laughs> Ball box there. Oh, on both sides. Okay. So I'm going to be obviously looking to get huge combo damage potential. Or sorry, huge damage potential with combo. Back one, one plus three. Okay. Oh, here we go. There it is. So the move known as command grab. <laughs> so the, the the damage totem was up. He's got another damage totem up, and he's currently got a damage buff from the command grab, and that down two would have done like 400 damage. You know, I just realized that uh, these are our two favorite MK characters. Facing off against For me, it's noob. For you, it's cool. That is right. You love to see it. Okay, nice command grab there with the amplification, sending Honeybee into the corner. Oh, There's oh, another oh, one. Oh. The it's scariest so part of, of a mid command grab is that crouching is not an option. It is jump or die against a mid command grab, and Kotal Khan is so scary. Side switches, damage buffs, you just don't get hit again. And look at him trying to make those reads with those neutral jumps. And uh, that's why Biohazard is throwing out those raw, or those uh, just forward three staggers, too. He catches you jumping, gets a full gun. Now, this variation doesn't have an armor break though. So so not, not having that sword special and uh, opting for the launcher, which he's got here, that's exactly what. And Big now one now. guess, one guess is all it's gonna take here for Biohazard. He's, he's got the command grab, he can just meaty. And there he goes, <laughs> Did, didn't even cancel it just in case he jumped. Into Super the smart brutal. There. It mm. is ended. Into the brutal. All he wanted he was some cool late man. Sun. <laughs> Drink the juice, praise the sun. <laughs> That's all we do here. Solid stuff there, there any, from Biohazard. Are there any of my subscribers in chat? I'm about to praise the sun in the chat right now. Let's go. Oh, snap. There we go. He's there praising go. the sun. Let's praise it. He's praising the sun in chat. You'll love to see it. <laughs> I'm about to throw I'm about to throw in some Fujin dabs then. If that's if that's what we're doing. <laughs> oh, oh. Those should those should have been in the uh, first game right there. Oh, when, the, uh, uh, yeah, back when uh, Dragon broke it out. Yeah, but yeah, we, yeah. You're right, we, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> we will see Dragon again. If you bust out more Fujinistics, then I'll, I'll I'll be spamming the chat with some with some dabs. <laughs> Honeybeam is making the switch to Devora. He actually used Devora against me uh, the few times that we have played. Uh, it's a battle of really big ranges. Uh, she can do certain combos on Kotal Khan that she can't do to other characters because he's a big dude. Right. Uh, she can actually combo one, two teleport. I think I, I, I think that that's what he's going to have here. As we dive here in the game, number two, completely different matchup. Going to get a big confirmed there in the teleport and Honeybee getting us started here. Drawing first blood, first big blood. Puts out the bug. He's going to try to steal every turn here. Huge jump on the disc to Papa Khan's pizza late to the delivery this time. Nice. Big setup here. Gonna go for the resand. Oh no! Okay, actually, gonna set up. For the... I, oh wait, he I, doesn't have the. Resand. Yeah, I was say I don't think that he has it loaded. But right. hey, that ended up working out anyway. Gets the nice little reset. 
Biohazard got what he wanted to, just doing the 4 3 anti air. You can clip that up, you can pick that up, do a full combo over down 1 4 1 2. Put back to the corner. Hey, look at the shit damage right now. This is definitely weather. Honeybee utilizing his favorite character, which I don't know why, because she's super gross in Mortal Kombat 11 with all the custom variation glory. Those traps. Those are super damaging. Those tentacles are disgusting. I, 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 I everything is disgusting. I just want to say that. It, they're, they're disgusting. <laughs> I don't want to get touched by them. <laughs> I don't want to be anywhere yeah. near this character, but okay, there we go. Bio with that command grab, getting a nice 31% combo, setting up a totem. This is also, I this, this has to be, wow, huge, huge anti -arts. This has to be a lore pick too, because I don't know why as Portal Con, you would want to drink whatever's coming out of the <laughs> I feel like I feel like that's not good for you. I don't care who you are. You I would tend Asha, to agree. You could be an elder god. <laughs> I'm, I'm not drinking that Kool-Aid. 100 percent But okay, now Honeybee gonna get that side switch, setting up with the trap, going for the low into that low trap as well. Man, Honeybee really puts on the pressure when he gets the combo going. Good setup. Yeah, Biohazard had to weather that storm for so long. He's got to do it once more, it seems. He's got plenty of resources. And no anti-breakaway uh, for Honeybee. Just just putting on the bugs, right. putting out more bugs, and it's never ending! He needed that little hit confirm into the Fatal Blow to finish it. Not a lot of time left, immediate breakaway. Honeybee, gotta be really careful mm, here. Back up scary. in the corner. He oh, he went it. for it! He went for the raw teleport. It, I've seen it work before. Yes, we have. That, I've that was seen something it work that we, before. We, we, we see him break that out. I, I feel like the more that he feels the pressure, the more it comes out, and the more it seems to work. You know, this is again his his favorite character, and sometimes uh, we know what Honeybee can do with his favorite character. Magic can happen. Yeah, so many, so many, so many Cinderella runs throughout his career. Yeah. The only unfortunate thing as well with uh, with Honeybee's oh nice call out there from Biohazard just absorbing that hit. But the unfortunate thing of not having the restand is you don't get a lot of opportunity to set up the bugs to attach to Biohazard. And have that have, have that crushing blow throw, which yeah. can do upwards of 37 percent This mm -hmm. is gonna be huge damage here. No breakaway there. It comes from Biohazard. This is gonna be a big comeback, but he he's got all the damage to do so. Yep. He has Fatal Blow. He, he can pull up a couple of damage. He can pull up a damage from right here. No, he's gonna be purely aggressive oh here. My and God. now, any hit in the Fatal Blow can kill. Terrifying position. If oh! you're Honeybee, hold on. This is not gonna be enough though, is it? This has a damage buff on it. It has oh! a damage buff on the first hit. Is this it? He's dead. It's over. He's it's dead. over. That's, wow. That is... Crazy. Crazy, Mr. Aquaman. The honeybee caught pressing buttons after blocking that first little hit and biohazard with the immediate fatality. Was... Oh, this is a gross one. The sound oh. Oh. She's, okay. she's gonna make it. She... Oh. Nah, nah, she's dead. I don't care who you she's are. Not, she's not gonna make it, is she? You're, you're missing a spine ahead and you just got laughed at by a giant totem. It gave Damn. Me. But no, that was that was that was Cordal Khan. That was you you made the mistake of getting hit mm -hmm. what what that did he had been staggering forward three this entire time into command grab into mm -hmm. buttons into jumping into nothing yeah and the and the string it, the string itself when you finish that four three four has a gap in it that's false blockable so he took away all of those options all honeybee did was had the block but honeybee was scared of so many other things off of that because it's only yeah. minus a couple as well in the stagger yeah and so if he tried to floss block if he tried to jump he died and that's exactly i think what happened was reading one of two things there good good risk by biohazard Paying definitely off. definitely a risk indeed but it did pay off big time for bio I didn't even realize he had the damage buff out. That was just a guaranteed win off that Fatal Blow connecting. Yeah, after after Command Grab and you have Fatal Blow, your kill range is a lot bigger than than everyone else's. And that, right. that's why I said, even though he was at about half health, watch that thing disappear. And he's Definitely. already getting started here. To the corner, coming off the Amplify, and pulls out a damage totem. Now you really don't get hit. <laughs> Seriously. You gotta watch out. Touch of death territory. Ball oh, 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 he's got no breakaway. This hurts. This, he's got this hurts trip. a lot. Mm. Oh, dropped oh. it. Here we kept going. Not doing any tick throws yet. Off the one twos. He hasn't done any tick throws at all, actually. Nice stagger short hop there with the overhead. Again, okay, good wake up there from Honeybee. He's got to get out of this corner, though. Okay, mm. gonna do exactly that. Probably gonna and, get a side switch. And that one two teleport, total con specific combo right there right oh 
Oh. Down to crush. That's going to be the round with the immediate follow-up on another There's down two to guarantee it. No need to break away, Honeybee, keeping those resources so that he's not stuck with no defensive meter going into the second round. Now Biohazard, match point, connecting that command grab, gonna get the amplification, throwing Honeybee into the corner now. Is he looking to get a quick 3-0 here against his brother, or is Honeybee gonna battle back? Let's see what happens. Ooh, perfect down wow. three before the extra frames of the two came out there. And Bios is gonna get the corner. He's got the he's got so many damage lifts up. If he does a throw, it's 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 doing it's doing 30 something. Oh no. This is doing about half-life. This wow. is over 50. Wow. I think this is over 50. Oh my oh, god. And he's got even more of a damage buff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. Another rock oh, man oh, grab. Oh, 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 oh. It is <laughs> oh, 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 oh. so threatening. Aquaman, that is one of the most intimidating things I've ever seen in this matchup. He just stands in front of Honeybee, and what do you do if you don't block, if you're trying to neutral block, to call out that command grab, and Bio just goes for a hit? That's still a ton of life lost. If you block, you're getting caught by that command grab. Like, what do you do? Such pressure, so intimidating. Biohazard takes it 3-0, eliminating Honeybee now out of this tournament and continues in the tournament to now face off against Dragon in losers round two, which should be very interesting. Hey, that was an awesome match right there. Every, everything I want to see doubt. as a, as a Kotal Kahn player, but also just seeing, seeing what you can do with customs from both of them, trying to piece their perfect version or their way of playing uh, the character to its, to its uh, apex form and biohazard doing it right. He, he loves command grabs. He loves a lot of damage. He loves, he, he loves the threat. You know, if you go back and watch him in previous uh, titles with Ferrator, with with Bane in the Injustices, he was always about being a threat, uh, as as well as being so skilled in so many of the small fields of the game. You know, flawless blocks yeah. and 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 everything on top of that. Uh, but that's what he likes to be. He likes to be. He likes to keep you on your toes the entire time. I I don't like that. I don't like playing him because it's scary to fight. Because if you feel like you can <laughs> die at any time on the screen, that's just me when I play Mortal Kombat. <laughs> You can you can freeze up, which is kind of what you see what, what you saw happen to Honeybee right there. Yeah, he's gonna froze up. You're like, oh my goodness, I Bane's running at me, fully charged. You know, like that, like like, like, like that, that's the feeling uh, yeah. that that you get when playing that character. He's, he's got huge range. He's got huge mix-ups with the command grab, and if he hits you one time, it sets up potentially double damage buffs, so that if you get hit again, it's the round. You know, that's. Just don't get hit. That's that's at the end of the day, just don't get hit, guys. Just don't get hit. Yeah. Just don't get hit. Seriously. Yeah. No, that was those really easier really said than them. From Bio, for sure. For sure. <laughs> oh man. But uh good stuff there from Biohazard, who will be moving on, like I said, to face off against Dragon. But I believe our next match is one that I am so excited about. This is a match that could almost be considered the grand finals of this tournament. Because yeah. we got combat who's gonna be going off against Ninja Killa. And, and as we've said, Ooh. you know, the story here for combat is that they are the eighth qualified player who had to play through an entire tournament to be that qualified player for this tournament. And they won uh, from the loser side of the bracket to beat Sonic Fox in grand finals for that qualifier. So combat right now, obviously one of the favorites to win this tournament going up against Ninja Killa, who is seen as one of the best players yes. to play this game right now. Crazy. Crazy. And, and, Combat Combat has done this before. He has beaten Ninja Killer in these online tournaments. Was a little while ago. Can he do it again? Uh, time will tell. Uh, I'm really excited to see these guys go at it. We're going to see probably what we saw in their previous matches. I'm, I'm expecting the Johnny Gears combo yes. uh, coming from Combat. It's what we see competitively too. Uh, a, a nice little uh, double-edged sword that he brings mm -hmm. to the table. Um, as, as well as being able to play the entire cast proficiently. And same thing with Ninja. Ninja just seems to pick up a character jump jump online and beat beat us all with them i don't know i don't know <laughs> but i expect he's luke king here he's yeah, not he's, he's yeah just not just not, not human he's <laughs> he, he's a program designed to to beat us yeah he was sent from the future to destroy every last person competing in mortal Kombat. um but yeah i agree with you we're probably going to see some more luke kang from ninja killer obviously with those projectile reflections and uh and, and all the fun stuff that we saw from Ninja Killer earlier on in this tournament. But again, it, it, this is a match that can be seen as the grand finals and who knows might end up being the grand finals, no matter which way you slice it. If Ninja gets sent to the losers, he may run the gambit through there.
to make his way all the way back to grand finals. And the same thing could be said for combat. They are some of the best of the best. Yeah. And still alive in losers uh, in that second round is going to be rewind versus Kerbo yes. and dragon versus biohazard. And a, 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 Almost another one where you know these are these are a couple of 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 rolled you might you might as well just roll the dice or 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 or, or, <laughs> or flip a coin yeah. for all these matches here on out. But we're gonna be right back, guys. We're gonna take a quick break, but co- we're gonna come back in to winners finals next. It's gonna be combat going up against Ninja Killer next on Custom Combat. Don't go anywhere. Uh, ground freeze. Oh, that and would rising crazy. ice. Okay, so he he has rising ice, but he's got creeping ice and the aerial X. So yeah. he's gonna be playing this a little less combo-y but he's gonna have uh a lot of control and again that 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 unblockable reset if he's if he's got the right circumstances available you guys are gonna get get to see some unique sub-zero play and ninja killer has been using this game. okay so he, he he does have the launcher i don't know what that was called but, so this is gonna be scary yeah <laughs> just react of course, this is an online tournament, so Sub Zero just gets that immediate advantage by proxy. Got Nick sucks. He has he has neutral control with the area relax. He's got the safety of the creeping ice. This is this is an interesting combination. Oh yeah, definitely. And, and his again. variation name, just react, Caboose. <laughs> just react to the forward two. You are finished. It's been That's there since it. day one. It's That's that all you easy. Do. Just don't get hit. That's it. Just block the hell simple as that <laughs> all right nicely done there from ninja killer taking that first mm. round okay there's that 50 50. that's been something that's always hard to deal with since day one gara said it's been something that's very hard to deal with. oh nice flawless block there from ninja killer looking for the low Good block that forward two one two okay goes to the overhead into the creeping ice and a little bit at the end is going to connect nice he, forward throw escape failed he really forced him to use that uh meter right there get them with the splash because it's a big damage here and we're going to the corner. The breakaway coming a little late. There by Ninja eats the tick throw off the four two. We're in the corner. He's gonna get the work here. Hmm. Oh, nice little combo here from Combat. Looking to try and close up this round. Yep. Oh wait. Oh, just barely. Not enough. Never say never. Oh Hold on. my goodness. Hold what on. Up? That's it. Hold on. I think that's it. Stand for it. No, he, he, he. Oh, he was looking for the reset. He, he got the chip of oh, no. oh. oh, not like this. <laughs> Should have let it rip. I'm telling you, Aquaman, just a couple of mixes when, it, when Sub's got that I fatal blow. It. It, it would have been one of those situations where it was like he was probably going to live by like 1%. Yeah. Or, or, or a couple percent. And he, and he really wanted to guarantee that there. But you no, know, it's to, to each their own in that situation. And that command grab again there from combat. Still has his corner for pressure. Oh, nice jump in. Jumped out of the corner there to Ninja Killer, but they kind of recognize him still in the corner and the commitment. Killer yeah. Rising Ice, I think that would have been a punishable situation, but he just committed Crush. just like he would the Ice Ball. And that's big damage, 310 on the table and the help me for him now and <laughs> whipped it. Scary. He was looking for it. He was looking for it. There's that Air Axe. Okay, now Combat is going to try and slow down the pace of the game here and see if he can chip away at Ninja Killer's Light Bar to so tie things up. Is that... No. I didn't know if that was crushed. I didn't know if he landed. Oh! oh it's the cross up and a fatal blow. What a quick reaction there from oh, Combat. Oh my just, goodness. Oh, actually, I mean, it, it was an OS. Yeah. 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 All, you, uh, all you gotta do is, is, is do that jump kick, hit those triggers. It's gonna only work on hit. Yeah. Now the slight healthy, the big whip, but no punish. And it, it, oh it, no! Oh, the the down two! If he did any other normal right there, he would have lived, but he got the damage through the armor. And what a clutch victory by Ninja. That was down to fire. Yep, you are you are right about that. That jump three is an OS. So there really is no worry about commitment there if you're combat. If it connects, it connects. If it doesn't, well, all you're getting out of it is a jump three being blocked. So nicely done from combat, but Ninja Killer still hanging on, connecting that down two off of the breakaway. Incredible stuff with a sub-zero. Not a character you would mostly or, or you would normally associate with Ninja Killer, but again, when it's custom variations, anything goes. And he's been using this character an awful lot in his combat league runs and on his YouTube channel. He's, he's really been digging him. I, okay. I, don't know, I don't know what he quite likes about Sub Zero. He's got wonderful movement, wonderful buttons, good stagger game. So I can see that. 
And the variation that he's built here is is built really well for Gears. Having that aerial axe uh, gives him that mobility overneath all those sand traps to to traverse the stage. And then he's got the safety and mix up combo ability. Like this is this is a really good sub zero. Put him in the hands of one of the best players on the planet. You got yourself oh, yeah. a one zero lead. Oh yeah. Okay, nice. We got sand trap. The jump in. Okay, that's still good damage during the killer breakaway or not. Yeah, I, it, the fact that Creeping Ice got him on the tail end of that breakaway was actually- Oh my god, oh, wow! <laughs> the very last frame of that slide landed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he, he, he tried to whip punish it. It was so late, but it was still active. That a feels bad, man. Oh, nicely done, the forward two. Just react. I'm sure Ninja Killer is saying right now. Okay, wow, what a combo there. He went for the, the purposeful side switch so that he would get the slide amplified to send combat back into the corner. Win-win there, because he also loads up that crushing blow. Needs three of those amplified slides. What? Nice. What pressure by combat? Keep it simple with the staggers back and forth, and he ate the forward two, but no huge commitment by Ninja. Keep it safe right there. Even on the creeping ice, you, you, you do got to look out because there's a false blockable gap. We're down to the wire here. This is game number two. One over for Ninja, and he gets hit by another forward two. Just Not enough. react. Just <laughs> react. <laughs> you just got to react to it. Oh, no. Those forward twos, one of the most difficult things to deal with. Oh, nice jump in. Oh, the flawless block. There's that forward two again. What? Not even sure how the uh, end bit of that connected, but it did. I think okay. he saw that it hit kind of weird and maybe thought that he was going to drop and didn't want to come up. I, he is a robot, mind you, so he can do stuff like that. <laughs> I'm just assuming. I could be giving him way too much credit or too little credit. I'll never know. Oh. Good trade in the air there. Oh, and there's that command grab. I believe that's going to be the round. Yes, indeed. Combat tying things up now. What the cool thing about that command grab is there's extra damage in the corner. And no matter where you grab someone with that thing, it's going to take you take the opponent 60% of the way to the corner. It, it, it travels that far across the stage. Really good yeah. uh, for, for applying that corner pressure, which Gears is really good at. Especially depending on what else you have loaded. And here he's, you know, sets up the sand so it's hard to move. But that hasn't phased Ninja, I feel like, at all so far throughout, throughout this match. Amplification there on the what do we call that? The rising ice. I <laughs> am five percent sure that that's what that's called. That's what I'm calling it. Let's go with that escape fill there off the forward throw. Ninja Killer now has a crushing blow throw locked and loaded. Oh, that got to be ready to try and tech the next one. Okay, there we go. Forward two into the creeping ice now. Is that creeping ice again? Oh! oh! He tried the up two, which isn't invincible, and yep. there was still a couple hits. Oh, whoa! That was what a cool little beast in. What a setup here from combat, landing that forward throw now. Ninja Killer, not in the greatest position, but he just reacts that time, and combat kills. Oh, oh the bags! Oh, no! Oh, no, just, oh, my God. Oh, my Both God. Both games have been down here to the wire. 1-1. One, one. Can you believe it? Can you believe it, Aquaman? Here in Winter's Finals. bags of... Mental warfare, Caboose. Mental warfare at its yeah. finest. You need every... Listen, when you're up against <laughs> a caliber player like this, even if you are that caliber of a player yourself, you need you need everything. Everything and anything that you can use to try to get a victory here. And if I was in that position, you know dang well I'm going to be bagging fatality <laughs> and mercying. Yeah. Something here. Solid stuff. Stop, and, and, you know. stop that momentum of Ninja right in its tracks, which I don't know if it's possible. Let's find out here in game number three. Definitely. This is going to be huge. All tied up one-to-one -one in this set. And Ninja Kill is sticking with that sub-zero. I respect it. Not immediately switching. Although, you know what? I think at the end of the day, with the, uh, with the variation that combat's got set up here with Garrus, I'm not entirely sure if there is just enough for the custom Liu Kang to, to make work. Against this gear. Oh, there's that slide. Did he just wave dash slide? Madman. But it worked. <laughs> so, so genius? Genius or madman? You, you decide. Who is, what do you think? Uh, robot. <laughs> Neither. Neither. <laughs> Cyborg. Is there an option C? <laughs> All of the above. <laughs> oh, oh, nice flawless plug up, too. Oh, there's a command grab once again. Not going to be a crushing blow. 
Oh, nice forward throw. You can tell Ninja's looking for that escape fail once again. Cross up. Oh, man, these two are just playing so safely. Yeah, a lot of respect on both sides here. And they're, they're waiting for something negative, reversal that position. Combat does get the straight hit here. He's going to set up a lot of shenanigans and get him with the throw for the close out, too. And now, for the first time, Combat on paper winning this set. Up around. Yeah, good stuff there from Combat. Incredible pressure. I love the combo conversions as well. Just like a down one, standing one, down one into the freeze. Okay. Oh, no whiff punish. That, that that feels like something that we saw a whole lot more in previous games where those weird pickups were where we like just get a stand one, down one, yeah. something else. You don't see an awful lot here in this game, but that was still to see those kind of scramble, those scramble pickups and big commitment by oh, combat. No. The punish, but I think that ninja missed an input. Yep. I think he was trying to jump forward, but he just got a neutral jump out of it, unfortunately. Could be missed damage that could end up be the deciding factor. Looks like he woke up buttons there too and only ate the four three. Nice, nice. conversion there. But the slide doesn't want to give up the corner. That's why he didn't amplify that slide. Woo! Those are hard. <laughs> Damn that's it. A, oh a, my. That's a hard combo right there. That is not easy to land. Not at all. Oh my! It's going to do more damage with the breakaway. He's dead. It's over. It's over Two with the stand. for combat. Yep. Oh, it, yeah. Absolutely. It's over. Mm. Yeah, this, this, the, everything that they've done with, whoa, the lockdown, the lockdown into the throw to end up that game, man, combat is definitely playing the mind games here with Digital. That's another big one right there. Not a lot of people use that one. I just started using it recently where at, at the windscreen, just hold forward. Just for the lockdown? 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, just, just walk for 20 seconds with your smug, arrogant chest out. Just, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we, you're just you, you're just establishing dominance at that point, right? Oh, 100 percent. Hey, stuff like yeah. that. It's like puffing your chest out. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It's it's stuff like that. You know, you, you mentioned it. Like mental toughness is a really important thing when it comes to these tournaments. And and when players like that, when they're bagging you, when they're giving you the intimidating walk down to the end of the match. Oh man, Ninja Killer switching over to Liu Kang. Now this should be interesting. Ninja Killer said, "Okay, you yeah, want to play okay. combat? Okay." That's exactly right. that's that's exactly what that is. He goes, he goes, okay, that was cute. <laughs> oh man, looks like he's bringing bring the same loadout. Has the low projectile, has yes. the fire and the parry. The projectile parry at that, not the grounded parry that you guys see uh, work on grounded normals and uh, wake ups, uh, but the reflection of projectiles and interactables that he can combo after. Now, where can he find a lot of opportunity to utilize that though against Harris? Or is only, he just not looking to use that at all? Only an interactable. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a huge combo, actually. Oh my god. Oh, and then he always smokes. 53% and Ninja Killer oh. with a near flawless round. Combat right, put the I'm pad leaving. down. It, it, yeah, it, it looked like Combat put the pad down, his health bar. He, did, did you guys want to see a magic trick tonight? Watch Combat's health bar disappear. <laughs> oh, nice counter there immediately with the forward one. Okay, now here comes Stagger City. As Combat gets out of it. The flawless block, though. Oh, the neutral jump into the back one. Oh, gets caught by a down two crush. No defensive meter. He's just going to have to eat this damage. That's three down twos. One combo. 40%. Oh, nice oh, try. And hit. Flew through it, too. He completely avoided the special move out there to stop forward movement, but that's not going to stop. Nothing stops Liu Kang, okay? Darth Rump's champion. Let's hold back to the corner here. Combat. Nice health lead, but we've seen that disappear before. SP140 close to it's gonna put him on the magic pixel. Both defensive meters spent. He just goes for the fatal. It's not gonna work. That was a weird spot that, that where I've seen Ninja use that, where it wasn't gonna be enough to kill, even if he would have made a read on the poke, uh, or, or you know, you know uh, jump out attempt or or, yeah. or or counter poke attempt in that situation. Yeah, it wouldn't finish, but maybe he was just looking for the, the scramble, just the mental scramble of it to have tried to take out combat. But combat was prepared. Held down that block, ties it up. Combat, by the way, match point. Looking to try and send Ninja Kill into losers. The reaction, though, the neutral duck. This is going to be big damage once again. My goodness, Ninja Killer has been landing combos this game. Got the plus frames disrespected by Combat. That down one could have gotten him killed alone. 
taking the big risks. Nice Wants to end done. it now, but Ninja says, uh, uh, uh. You didn't oh. say the magic word. Bangs him back, and we're going oh. to a game five. He said, hey, about that last game. Holy smokes, Aquaman. I love it. I am all for this right now. Custom variation combat here with the bagging and the disrespect after each match. You Woo. love to see it. You love to see it. Chat saying it right now. All he's doing with squats, dude. That, 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 that's just some, <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, that's some mid-round hit cardio. That's just, that, that's just keeping that heart rate up. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. Another game five for you. Just like we said, this is going to be something we're going to see a lot of. Oh, oh, Ninja Killer saying, go for it. He saying, go for it. I dare you. Pick Johnny. And combat's going to do exactly that. Now, you've talked a lot. You've I don't I, I, Johnny loadout. I don't know if if the right move is to when your opponent is trying to get inside your head <laughs> and they're telling you what to do and you do it. That sounds like they're inside your head. It, I mean, maybe. But I feel like this pick was coming regardless because this yes. is the classic that we see uh, between them. Yes. Johnny against Liu Kang. Let's see how this is going to go down. Game five, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of this, if I'm not mistaken, goes to Grand Final. He had this or, ready. Or no, wait, is it? Yes. Look at the title. He had this ready. Oh, he was waiting for this <laughs> matchup to come. You're exactly right. Oh, my goodness. Nice sweep there, Ninja Killer. Back one. Good tech. Flawless block the projectile. And then oh. neutral ducking it with the punish. Oh, that, the is knowledge. A, that is a Ninja Killer specific reaction right there is crouching that and getting the input of a flying kick um, in time. It's so fast. It, it, it's actually like you, you need one a lot of practice to pull that off and a certain input on your on your pad in order to get that uh crouch into the back forward so quickly oh, look at these four four staggers okay cancels the fatal blow be really careful here oh that's flawless blockable i believe or is that no wait is it that one thinking is of cassie's that yeah that was not false blockable but but, co but costs the defensive bar got it yeah, I think I was thinking of Cassie. It's more offensive bar to uh, stay safe right there. And this is different from what we saw, from what we saw earlier from Combat's uh, Johnny, uh, in that we don't see the arcing force ball. We see those straight fireballs, which are good, which are just r really quick, and they give them give them those plus frames. I don't I don't think that they whiff on loose. So he's gonna be able to jail into the plus frames here yeah. off of his back three four four four, four three fours, um, et cetera, et cetera. We know that he's got the rising star. I haven't seen what the third one is that he brought. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be good damage, but the immediate breakaway now Probably Ninja glasses. Killer. This is definitely worst case scenario, though. If you're Ninja Killer stuck in the corner, no defensive meter in sight, getting caught by the throw. Now it's a back throw, though. So combat says here, get your... Oh, oh the bagging mid-match! Oh, no. I mean, with this kind of health lead, looking pretty strong here. This is, oh, this is one heck of a round from combat right wow. back at you. This I gotta be good. honest with you, Ackman. I've never heard more flawless blocking in a set in my life than I have in this one. It's a beautiful sound, that one. Wow. And that is gonna and do that's it. it. Oh, combat taking it three <laughs> to two in a game five. And out of the qualifiers, upsetting every single one of the oh. top players on the planet. And the classic Warner Brothers frog dance Ooh, from I, Johnny okay. with the friendship. It has to be said, combat has beaten one, two, and three in the world. Yeah. It, in his run. When are we going to start having beats, the conversation he beats about Sonic Dragon and, position? Sonic this... Dragon and Ninja Killer and Gur in there just just tossing the bacon bits of Gur on this ridiculous salad yeah. uh, of Combat's run here in Custom Combat. Seriously, when are we going to start having the conversation with with Combat being in mention when you're talking about the best of the best in the NRS scene right now because this dude beats Sonic Fox to get in this tournament, beats Ninja Killer to go to grand finals? You kidding me? He's beaten two of the what what most people consider the best players in the NRS scene. Ridiculous Scary. stuff. Scary. Ridiculous stuff. That we Johnny also, is wow. Nuts. I've I've also got some updates for you off stream. Both uh we, they did play losers round 2 off stream. Yes. Both went to a game 5. Oh my goodness. What do we got though? What do we got? Kerbalicious versus Rewind. Kerbalicious taking it three to oh, two. Oh man. Bio versus Dragon. Dragon taking it three to two. It's Damn. Gonna dra dragon versus Kerbo. Holy smokes. In losers. That I don't is even know. Huge. That is huge. And 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 the winner of that 
will then move on to face off against Ninja Killer. Which is uh which is crazy. Just crazy. Mm. My goodness. This bracket is stacked in case you guys were wondering. Yeah, just just in case. This is this this, <laughs> this is this is this is a bracket I avoid. Or or, or I, I would avoid oh, they're they're pretty good at Mortal Kombat, guys. So Ninja is going to uh fall to the losers finals, uh, where he will be awaiting either Kerbo or Dragon coming out of that losers semifinal match. Yes. Uh, and of course, combat sitting pretty in grand number grand finals, guaranteed top two, and has the cushion of uh, being on the winner's side. So he will only have to win one more set to win this entire tournament. Yes. And I believe we're trying to set up with a, uh, a little interview with combat. We will let you know if we're going to get that organized. But regardless, overall, what a set between those two players. Listen, I, I get the most hyped when there's all that disrespect involved, oh, all yeah. the bagging on both ends because the stakes get high when they're trash talking or they're, or they're bagging, walking each other down. The stakes get high and you can tell on both sides, they really want to win it. That was, that was just mental warfare at its, at its finest. You even saw the, the call out counter call out in that game. Number five of Ninja yes. going, go Johnny. I dare you. I double <laughs> dog dare you to go Johnny. Yep. He said, okay, picks Johnny. And that was a convincing final game by combat right there. Ninja's going to be going to the drawing board uh, for sure. I, uh, I wonder, but, but you, you know, let, let me ask you this. Yeah. Do you think that the combat's out here playing this Garrus as almost like a, like a testing grounds kind of thing. And then when things get serious, he's like, all right, time to pull out the big I think guns. It's with just Johnny. a, I, I, I think it's a matchup thing where he came out with Garrus and he saw the sub zero pick. And he, I, I think he's just saving Johnny for that Lou. I like that. Honestly, may be it at the end of the day. Um, I think that both characters do fine really across the board. Yeah, that is that. Is, you make a good point. You make an excellent point there. But again, really good showing from combat who will be moving on in this tournament to the grand final. So a guaranteed top two. And he's going to be getting a good chunk of that 5k prize pool, which is on the line here for custom combat. Also, just to update you guys, that that losers semi match is also going to happen off stream while we get an interview with Combat Go. They're, they're actually playing right now. They're actually they're actually mid match is Kerbo, Kerbo and Dragon and yeah. Dragon. So we're actually going to jump in to the next match. Uh, we're going to pick up with the winner of that versus Ninja Killer coming up in just a few. But we are trying to get Combat on a call with our hosts, yes, uh, to 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 get his insight because talk about a Cinderella run here out of the qualifiers. Sensational, seriously. Seriously, can, can you imagine the storyline if we get the qualified player, the, the one who had to fight his way into the tournament, being the one to win the tournament would be absolutely nuts. But just like I said, you know, with Ninja Killer getting sent into the loser's bracket now, just as I said, leading into this match, it could be our grand final. You know, it, it, it could be our grand final. But OK, I believe we have our interview ready to go. So why don't we throw it to our hosts as they are with combat right now? to talk a little bit about his victory just then. So let's throw it over. Drew, Camille, what's going on? What a match. That was insane. Combat is not playing any games. And Absolutely we happen not. to have him right here, obviously not visually, but in audio. Combat, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you guys? Uh, well, we're just stunned by Absolutely. what you showcase. I appreciate Dude, you beat, that. You beat the best three players in the world. Dragon. Uh, Ninja Killer and Sonic Fox to make it even to the finals here. That's crazy, dude. I gotta ask you yeah. something though. Why did you tee back a... Ninja Killer? That's okay, even so justified. Every single time Ninja plays me, he picks sub online just to abuse the four two because he knows how much I hate that character. So I just, as soon as I'm, I'm tee back, I don't, I don't give, nah, I don't care. I'm just You're so like... tired of the character. Oh dang! Okay, but... online is like ten times different than he is offline, and Ninja knows that, so he just abuses it. Dang! Dang! <laughs> dang! Dang! All right, well, I'm not here to start any beef, so let's talk about the qualifiers. How was that matchup against Sonic? Were you surprised when you took it? Um, the no, I've been ever since finals. I got fifth. I've been just training at the game because my mindset in this game is to just get better and improve so ever since finals i've been just learning from my mistakes which is how i've gotten better and now i actually have the confidence that i can beat 
Sonic, Ninja, etc. I actually feel like I can compete with them. And going into that tournament, I knew Sonic was going to pick some broke stuff, like Jackie would like whatever, I don't know. But he picked Cassie with, um, she has a drone move that's like, that allows her, her to be so much better. But, um, yeah, so basically it was scary. He beat me at first. It was 3-1 at first. Mm -hmm. Then I reset the bracket. And then we played Joker versus Johnny. And then I won that. And the last game he switched to Jackie. But I'm at the point now where I can compete. But yeah, Sonic is still like one of the hardest players to beat regardless, even if I get better. Well, you're showing what? that you have that confidence, right? Yeah, I appreciate you, that too. Do you think when we go back to offline tournaments, you're going to beat them? Um. Well, whenever offline tournaments begin, I'm not sure if this game is going to be at offline by the time you know we return back. But I definitely feel like I have that confidence and skill to compete now. All right, so you know, <laughs> you're obviously really confident, but you mentioned training, right? How do you train for a tournament that is custom variations because you could see anything well custom variations are it's basically just what the characters have now you can combine basically everything they have from the three variations which is how i i like this game like this because it creates more freedom for the players and it lets us like play how we want to mm -hmm. but um in terms of training it's just like it's basically just the same thing for training as normal characters they just have added on moves that you have to account for so it's the same thing basically so now going into your next match, like, what are you hoping? What are you going to look out for? Um, wait, let me see the bracket. So who's still in? Turbo, Dragon, Ninja. So basically the three annoying people in the tournament. <laughs> um, Turbo is like, Turbo is one of the most annoying players you guys can play. Like, it's, it's not funny. He's just Damn. annoying. Ninja is, he goes sub again, I'm losing it. Um, and what was, what was the last guy? Dragon. Oh yeah, Dragon is a tryhard, so just have to ball play against him. Damn. But wow, no censorship from you, man. I respect it, man. Yeah, it. you're he's keeping like, it real. He's like, they're all free. Mm -hmm. That's basically what he said. No, I'm just joking, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> right, well, I'm stop. <laughs> so, what would you be doing with the money? Let's let's hear. Let's get into it. What are you doing with the money if you win? You take it home. <sighs> Well, I'm 17, so definitely just <laughs> chilling with it and doing what I want with it. But I'll definitely save some of it. I think I have like 1.2 something guaranteed right now. So, I mean, I'm chilling. I, I did this for fun, and I ended up making it this far. And I used every tournament just to use for tournament experience to see if I improve. And this tournament has shown me I improved, even with customs. So. Now, now, Caboose mentioned something that, you know, he's like, when is it that we're going to start mentioning combat amongst one of the greatest in this game? Do you think that's long overdue? Um, well, here's, here's the thing. After Evo for last year, I, some people know, some people don't. I had a passport issue, so I couldn't get my passport for like half of the event, so nobody really saw me in tournaments. But, um... Ever since I came back with my, like, I can compete again, I've been doing good. But I don't blame people for not thinking I'm, like, there because I haven't been able to play in those tournaments. But hopefully if there is another season, I think I can, I think people will see that for sure. And I do think I am in the top because I, I am confident in my play now. Absolutely. Like well, that's a pretty humble answer. I respect that. And Thank you're you. definitely showing it here. Your confidence is really paying off. Um... Man, you're just, you're showing us everything. Uh, I have to ask because, you know, people have been saying that your Johnny's broke. <laughs> See, Johnny, <laughs> people like, okay, uh, this is going to be like a real eye opener for everyone. Okay. Right. Johnny's tools in this game are what makes him good. His plus six was never the problem. People just, I'm sorry, I'm about to say, just like Sonic said, people suck. It's Damn. simple. You guys, people don't know how to fight Johnny, so they blame the plus six. But even after that, what, what am I doing right now? Am I winning or losing? Like, I don't, the character is the same. People just don't know how to fight him. And that's why our community, especially NRS, people use every excuse they have in the book to explain why they're losing instead of getting better. So, hey, that's the truth. Just learn how to fight. Oh, dang, man, you are definitely keeping it real. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. That's And just being so real, man. 
No problem. Thank you for the interview and this tournament. An amazing Thank you. experience. Thank you. We can't see. Wait to see what else you have to offer. That grand final is gonna you. be hype, buddy. Yeah, man. Oh, somebody better beat Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, wow, oh, that was uh. Wow. I mean, I, I respect his honesty. Real. I respect his honesty. He was you like, have to you know, respect it. But is there a thing as overconfident, right? I don't like know, he you know, definitely has a lot to show so far. Like I believe in him, but sometimes we've seen that bite you in the butt, right? And I, I don't necessarily want to see that with him. I think man. he's I think he's a monster right now. He has so much momentum behind him and on top of his uh his awareness and self awareness, I think he he might be the heavy favorite right now. Like he's sitting in grand finals sitting pretty. So Is he your favorite? I mean my favorite was Rewind and he took him out. So I'm, I'm just <laughs> so gonna I'm people. just gonna watch what's gonna happen, dude. Like, it's gonna be crazy. Do you agree with what he's saying with uh what people are talking about his broke Johnny? Do you think there's too much complaining? I mean, people often have more Twitter thumbs than they do hit training room. So in his perspective, <laughs> for a guy who like he clearly works and plays a lot but uh he plays a lot. So he's training and he's like practicing while everybody's just complaining. So I think for him, he's kind of frustrated and I, I get it. I totally understand. And now he's proven that he's in like the top, like 99 percentile of the game. So he's, I think he's allowed to flex a little bit, just a little bit. I uh, maybe a lot. Like I definitely agree with what Caboose is saying that it, it may be about time that people start mentioning him as one of the greatest at the game. Right. Uh, it'll be interesting what we see in the next match. Do you have any predictions? Absolutely not. I'm very mad. I'm not <laughs> like, going to do, no, no I'm not do this. <laughs> no, Drew, I want a prediction because you didn't compliment my Bane impression. So I want a prediction right now. I think it's going to be Ninja Killer and uh, Combat and Grand Finals. Um, and I think we're not going to see the Sub-Zero pick at all. So he's going to switch it up on us. Yeah, he's going to go straight to Liu Kang and just try to try to get that money. But it's kind of what Combat said that, you know, he always picks that Sub-Zero so maybe he will just do it just so he can get the last tea bag. Well, maybe. I mean, but <laughs> I think Combat's ready for that now, especially from how he was sounding. I, I felt that energy, man. I'm just like, all right, cool. You, you, you can take it. I believe you. You're the best. No, he definitely can take it, but, you know, we are talking about Ninja Killer. So you have to be confident, but you also have to be aware. And Combat did show that when he was going up against Sonic, he was a bit scared. So... I mean, he did. He did say all the players left are annoying to him. So <laughs> I, I think I think he's fully aware of what the situation is and the and the mountain he has to climb when when one of them gets the grand finals against him. And is that the best mentality to have? Do you think? I think so, especially when you're young. Mm -hmm. You can take risks like that. And he's only 17. He can do whatever he wants. It's all power to him. <laughs> I'm really curious what the casters will think about this, uh, but we have to wait a little bit until we get back to them. Um, Drew, like, based on this whole competition, like, what we've seen, what is your highlight? I think the creativity of, well, besides the teabag, the creativity of uh, <laughs> custom variations, like, the, it makes the game look really wild. Like, it's it's pretty fun. And it's, uh, it's, it's super fast, and it's seeing all these crazy combinations come out. It makes the characters look more uh, expressive. So that's kind of fun. Yeah, no, I have to say, uh, teabag definitely on the top of the list because it was just it was just so good um the teasing that they had there uh but yeah definitely the customizations i would want to see more custom variations in tournaments and more tournaments like this just because it seems like everyone's having fun especially in the earlier rounds when they're able yeah. to play uh and then you see them make the switch up when it gets a little too serious for sure they go back to their mains they're like cool this so they throw back like they got their mains, they go back to their mains, they're like, hey, this is uh, this is an even crazier character to deal with it. And it's kind of fun. Well, I can't wait to see uh, the next matchup. But first, we're going to take a quick break. So come right back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Custom Combat. Our next match is going to be pretty ridiculous. I am super hyped about this one, Mr. Aquaman. Because again, we're in a position to be watching some of the best of the best that the Netherrealm scene has a, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, is that who I think it is? Is that Khan? Hi, everyone. This is, this is my, <laughs> he wanted some attention. I do apologize here. I'm gonna get him on. Oh, man. See, I can't, I can't have my cat in my room. She, she, is, she needs That's way fine. too much attention. Attention. She'll jump up on the table and start, you know, messing with the stream. But yo, this next match, 
going to be Dragon going up against Ninja Killer. This is going to be absolutely insane. I am so hyped for this match. And overall, just this tournament has been so much fun to watch. How has Khan liked the, the tournament? He's been he's been digging it. He's he, you know once once those tea bags happened, I saw his ears perk up a little bit. He got he got a little excited here as we enter losers finals. <laughs> Dragon Ninja Killer. This is a run back from they've met it here in losers finals. I don't know how many times, but this was yeah. final combats losers finals even. Yes, uh, where it, it has been that battle for second place. Uh, you know. In the rankings, but Dragon's always been fighting either Ninja or or uh, or Sonic. It seems in these kind of situations, uh, but we'll see if he can finally do it here. It's this is going to be a really big thing for him to I feel like overcome competitively. Even though this is custom, uh, he uses these online events to uh, you know I guess somebody has a lot of trouble with. He has a history of beating them online and then that carrying over to the rest of his of his competitive. Oh wow, Ninja Killer starting yes. off with the full screen pick up there. And he Nicely brought done. He, he brought that reflect because man she's never be able to zone really kind of crazy too that the players are using this opportunity naming the custom variations to make statements <laughs> although oh, nice wow range. that was a weird whip on the fi2 but did he bring the low ground pounds purely because of that so he does have something that he's able to throw out there even though it, that itself does have some you know it's it, it's ups and downs it's cancelable but you can jump it he's gonna be able to close the gap but with this health deficit we talked about earlier, Sectron just not having a whole lot of damage caboose, and it's, her, her comeback potential is one of actually the lowest in the game. Yes, yeah, she doesn't have a lot of damage potential. Uh, and although, like, we saw Dragon land some pretty nutty combos with the character, but that was with a crushing blow. You're not going to find too many opportunities to do that, and oh my goodness, there it is once again, that projectile reflection into the Dragon Kick, and now the crushing blow on the Dragon Kick. Ninja Kill is working on a flawless, but he wasn't able to get it there as the wake up and next for Dragon. A dragon mm. trying to get out of this corner and make a bit of a comeback here. But we were just talking about the lack of comeback potential. Yeah, see, look at that huge, huge open up for for twenty percent, and yeah, that is it. He needs he needs he needs a nice beefy combo here to get back into this. Uh, there we go, going underneath the projectile there, but still has to contest with that low fireball. So Ninja, the double short hop. Oh my Ooh. goodness. Okay, all right. Dragon now really working on this comeback, having to spend a lot of resources to do it though. The fatal blow activation for a quick 31% and the life lead. Can Dragon complete this comeback? Let's see. Okay, they trade on hits. Definitely a trade that Dragon, I'm sure, is happy with. The amplification on the oh! projectile. The raw dragon what? kick is gonna connect. Oh no. That was the read of reads. Just put it all out there. That was. That was insane. He wanted to set that tone early. He said, yes. this is either going to go to a final round in game number one, or I'm taking this and you're going to be shook and I'm going to have the mental edge here going into game number two. And yeah. I think that that's exactly what has happened. He yeah, just th felt that Dragon was going to move. This is 100% a test of the mental toughness for Dragon. Is he going to be able to shake off that game or could this be the beginning of the end for Dragon in this set? Let's see what's going to happen. I'm gonna break the fourth wall here and oh. ask ask the producer if 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 we have. I'm just curious if we had this cued. Do we have that song where he's like two hops this time? Like the next time <laughs> that Ninja Killer does that on the ground. Every time, every time Ninja Killer. Do we have that sound bite ready? <laughs> we don't. Okay, I, I got I got confirmation. We don't have that sound, sound bite ready. We couldn't get the rights in time. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Next time. Next time. <laughs> that that have been a DMCA. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true actually. We we don't want to be dealing with that but okay here we go the retro cave being selected this is the best stage in mortal Kombat 11 by the way i think there's just no contest i think you got a point <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying i don't make the I, rules. I did that like i was about to argue it's like nope <laughs> solid i don't make the rules Dang you know there's, there's certain facts in the mortal Kombat world noob side about the greatest character in the history of mortal Kombat. the retro cave is the best stage in the game and devora is disgusting all right here we go game two now ninja killer up 1-0 in this set Oh, do we see a variation switch there from Dragon? I believe yeah, so. Yeah, this is there's a switch from Dragon. He's 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 got to know. I think that so this is I don't know why he's got loaded because this is the third different name that I've seen from him. It's called the 99% killer. <laughs> which 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 I feel like is, ju is just his tournament variation, but so far I'm seeing he's got the tornado. Wow, sleep switch coming out right there. Got a big lead. Abusing it! Wow! What are you doing? It's a wall coming at you! Oh, oh man, the oh, bag! He tried to bait him right there with that bag. 
You love to see it here. Ninja killer. Definitely. Oh, we got through the wall. Okay. If only he amplified it. Wow. Okay, that's probably a bit of an input error there on Dragon's end. I'm sure he didn't want to break away, unless maybe he was expecting the amplification. Oh, that was sick. Oh my god. No. Are you kidding me? I gotta get off. I'll see you later, Aquaman. Have fun. I have fun. Tell that to his opponents. What was that? Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> Holy smokes. Ninja killer showing the prowess here. I haven't seen what else Dragon has loaded, by the way. We've only seen the Tornado. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. Maybe he brought the, uh, the, the Rock Ore with him. Does he have Geyser? Good question. This is actually oh, he reflected it! This is, this is so nuts. What's the Tornado animation still went? <laughs> this is so nuts. What Ninja Killer is showing off here with this custom variation, the potential of this character with custom variations, it's almost limitless, especially in the hands of somebody like Ninja Killer. But okay, here we go now. Dragon trying to answer back and make a bit of a comeback, but the flawless block on that string allowed for like no chip damage to get through. Still a life lead for Dragon though to work with, and the whip punish big time here. The damage into Resan, I assume. Yes, indeed. Yes, frames. Oh, Ooh. he's got the this. That acts for two defensive bars. It acts just like the sand thing that we saw from Gears, only way shorter and costs way more. Yeah. Because Elder God. <laughs> so Dragon trying to close this out and does indeed do so oh, off of the trade oh, with the air thanks. projectile there. Dragon staying alive now with Cetrion. But what any of those buffs give her is access to a throw crushing blow, and that's why you'll see him just use that as a as, as, as something for Ninja to think about when that aura is active, right? You 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 dash up into their face, and nine times out of ten, while the aura is active, they're gonna rethrow. Right. And then you use that to open up your opponent. Nice jump in there. Okay, media breakaway there from Ninja Killer. But being stuck in the corner with no defensive meter to work with is almost dangerous. But Ninja Killer trying to fight back. Mm, all the staggers and dragon got hit by every single one of them that was that was just a lack of an r2 button yeah <laughs> yeah Liu kang one of the king of staggers in this game without a doubt he's got them all that to was all if that had reflected it i would have quit i actually would have quit yeah i don't think i ever would have played more combat ever again for the rest of the <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> we would have okay. needed uh drew and camille to happen <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Wow, what well, a this setup is, there from working. Dragon. Almost guaranteed chip with the chip avoidance. Hold on, you cannot count out Ninja Killer just yet. He's still uh -oh. got one more defensive meter to eat chip. 26 seconds. Dragon is not flawless blocking these projectiles, so he's taking a lot of chip damage off of it. Oh, he was looking for that projectile to land. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, oh he was looking at that. That would have gone to flying kick for a crushing blow as well. That would have killed. That is oh their projectile. God. This is just oh my working God. Aquaman. for Dragon. Aquaman. Aquaman, that's it. Oh, my God, the breakaway. The throw. Here. Later. Good luck. Good luck, everyone, watching the rest of this tournament. It's, it's been a pleasure. My name is Mr. Aquaman, and this has been some stuff. Later. I can't. I can't even. I have no words. I have no words. I am absolutely stunned that we didn't at least see one tornado attempt. I know what he was avoiding, which was getting, which was dying, but. It was, I'm going to, I'm going to break this down so that you guys can try to understand this. It's, it, it's, it's exactly like watching American football and someone trying to run out the clock and playing too passive. Holy smokes. And then they get bodied. Yeah. That's exactly, I think what we just saw was dragon just get a little too, like, like he, 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 he toned it down a little bit right there. He yeah. took a step back. Wasn't as aggressive. He was just trying to play it safe. Around the clock, and with with all of that breathing room, Ninja was able to just make it happen. Those miracles. That was, that was some of the most high intensity Mortal Kombat that I think I've ever witnessed. That was and a now, scramble and a half. Yeah, yeah. If I've ever seen one, and now Dragon switching over the Fujinistics coming right up. Skywalker deadly winds and the warped needles. What we saw him break out earlier. Likes the safety of that needle. He was an Aquaman main back in the day. Loves those Trident Rushy moves. Yes, indeed. 
Especially the safe ones. If it if it checks all the marks, usually usually if you if you see a character and they're safe like 90% of the time, dragons like character might as well try But also really good movement. Fujin's <laughs> Fujin's ability to stagger something into a backdash and catch whiff punishes because of the range is really scary. It's a different <clears throat> it's a different stagger game that you see from Luke Kang, who's gonna be in your face uh trying to catch you pressing buttons with, yes. with, with those quick mids versus Fujin with the slower mids, it's all about setting up a whiff punch. 100 percent This is the character you gotta play a little more methodical with. And Dragon definitely having a lot of fun with it. Here's the swaggy combo Woo! now. All gonna connect. Not the end of it though, and then at a breakaway. At the end, ooh, escape build. This is huge for Ninja Killer now. He's able to close out this round without having to spend it. Oh, I'm scared. Look at the forward. Oh, jump I in. I didn't break. Didn't OS a oh, fly kick right like off of this. Oh, oh that was sick. The custom is the is the is it good enough here? The execution. Wow. Oh. From Dragon. You know where I come from, Aquaman. We call that Fujinistics. Don't call it a comeback here. Can Dragon make <laughs> this happen? So the forward one connects into the drag. Or sorry, into the bicycle kicks. What is what is the creation name? Nerf, Nerf, Fatal Blow, Jump Three, and Breaker. I guess that's yeah, that's what he's going for. <laughs> so, so, so just everything. Yeah, pretty much. Nerf the game. <laughs> oh, this is gonna hurt the chin. Oh no. Okay. Oh wait, was there attack, or did he just not spend the crushing blow? Because he had a life lead. Ooh, the cancel. Wow, what a jump back by Ninja right there. That's a that's a scary spot. It's 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 slightly negative. It's so quick, it's hard to react to. If anyone could do it, it is Ninja though. I by the time I react to something like that cancel, I'm already getting hit. <laughs> so on the follow-up, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, oh he did that. Stand one. I'm already getting combo in the middle. So right now, Ninja kill a match point here. Looking to walk away with a three. Oh, but Dragon's not gonna let him walk away with it easily. Oh, that's scary. That is that is scary. Having something that can punish that exact setup stops oh, Fujin's safety off of that back one. That's going to be interesting. This could be problematic here. As Ninja Tech. is just a one combo away now from making it back to Grand Finals. Crushing blow. That's, that's going to gonna be it. Down two and he does it. 3-0. That's going to be it. Ninja Killa running it back now, heading into Grand Finals from the loser side, though. But he is gonna get that run back against combat. And we we heard combat earlier. He was like, oh god, I hope somebody gets rid of Ninja Killer. But Ninja Killer yeah. says, no, no, no. Combat you thought that easy for you. Combat Holy definitely son. thought. <laughs> he was able to do it before with that Johnny, but he's but he even said that that he was it sounded like he was a little worried about that sub zero going in. I, I believe he said what was it? If he if he goes sub zero, he feels like he's gonna lose. That's that, that's him kind of defeating himself mentally. And yes, I, you know, when, when that interview began, I heard so much confidence. We'll see if we'll see if he's coming this confident or not, depending on who Ninja Killer goes with. But congratulations. Uh, to Ninja and Combat for making it this far. They're gonna be our grand finals. No matter what happens, these these are this is your one and two of the event. Congratulations to Dragon going out of third, Kerbo at fourth, Rewind and Biohazard at fifth, and Gur Honeybee at seventh so far on the night. Yep. So this is it now with the run back between Ninja Killa and Combat in Grand Finals. And of course, if you're new to the tournament format, because Ninja Killa is coming from the loser side of the bracket. They have to win a set of a first to three to then reset the bracket, then win another set of a first to three to be crowned the champion tonight of custom combat, whereas combat himself just has to win one set. So it's uh, it's going to go down. It's about to go down, Mr. Aquaman. All right, invites out. Let's get him in here. Let's get this grand final started. Chat... Uh, I'm going to look at the chat right now. Tell us what you think. Tell us who you like here. Do you guys yeah. like Ninja to make the comeback? Or do you guys like combat coming out of the qualifiers to take this entire thing? I think that on paper right now, uh, on the fly, combat's just too hard to ignore. I mean, the fact that he beat one, two, and three in the world to me. Yeah. Uh, in in a matter of two days. Uh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, at the I same time, at the same time, in that, uh, in that winner's final, you know, we see Combat and Ninja Killer go to a game five. They go the distance in an incredibly intense, grueling set. Yes. So grueling I can also right see a word. scenario where Ninja Killer takes it too. Exactly. 
this is know. this is this is going to be a good match no matter yes. what we can, we, we can make bold predictions it's going to be fun to watch so let's get right into it you know, you know who is going to win you know who is going to win augment the people watching someone so, someone yeah that too that too but a the people watching the game <laughs> Oh, snap. Ooh. Okay. We're actually picking up right where we left yeah. off. No surprises here. Yeah. This, this was game five. Johnny Cage versus Liu Kang. Combat on the winner's side only has to win one set. Ninja has to beat Combat and send him to the losers, technically, and then beat him again. Right. Ev everyone has two lives, no matter what, in a tournament. If you guys are mm -hmm. unfamiliar with how competitions work, think of it just as everyone has two lives. 100%. But okay, here we go. Grand Finals, Ninja Killer, Combat, Custom Combat, underway. This is a 5-5, five, 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 this, cool. this is, this is a five, five matchup if you're looking at the <laughs> variations right now. And it's about what we thought coming to this as being dead even in skill and characters and everything. It's going down right now. Ninja Killer taking that healthy, he's gonna sit back at those projectiles. He loves, loves the situation <laughs> and that was a pickup and get comboed by the way. Oh my God! The Yo, fact we're that he did bags. that close, the fact oh. that he parried him that close, the quickest, like the quickest projectile in the game, he parried on reaction. No, robot. Hold on though. Hold on though. I I don't want to say. Okay, I was gonna say, it was next to impossible. I but... would have thrown my pad. I would have <laughs> my a pad. I would, it would have been gone. If combat made the comeback there, we would have been out of here. We would have wrapped it up for the night. <laughs> okay, there we go. Crushing blow now to start off the second round. No follow up for Ninja Killer. Oh! Ooh. Fix those whips. They, double high. <laughs> Watch those lows. Oh my gosh, there's those whips once again. Okay. With the grab. He says, You got key. I wonder why he brought that. But maybe it's just for those little. That's the only time I've seen him use it was for those little pickups. And I. The, the knockdown leaves him closer. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want to deal with the zoning. Maybe he wants to keep him closer on his... On his... Yeah, because it's not his armor breaker, right? The, the armor breaker is a flip kick. Yeah, no. I think it is. I think it's a flip kick. I have escape failed there. I, I, I have it so that I can't hover over this character. I think it's like three. Respectable. Ooh! Caught him walking there with the four or three is a high. That, that's what lets me know. <laughs> That, that either caught Ninja Killer pressing a button, moving forward, or moving backwards. And we're really? all tied up here to round a piece oh, with the bags man. into the down one. Calm down, combat. He bags him into the down one. Oh, crushing blow on the bicycle kick immediately. Wow. Oh, my God. The bagging got in combat's head. Is he uh, to wake up? Oh, what? oh, no. What was that? He just, he just entered the matrix. He broke the code of the game. He was bagging so fast. Holy smokes. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, my God. There's this is almost a flawless. A flawless. This is a flawless. Oh, no. uh, how many oh, bags are we in the same? Oh no! Oh god! Oh my god! Oh god! The human! He's got a family! He's got a he's, he's got a wife, I think. Are they still married? I don't even know. And a daughter! Oh god! The brutal with the bicycle kicks. Okay, Ninja Killer. Not, not like this. We've uh we've activated, we've activated the T 800 <laughs> He's back. Ninja Killer's like, you want to you want to teabag me? You think that Arr! do you think that combat's just like uh crap? I, I mean, <laughs> I, I feel like he was like that when he was in the interview after he won. He's like, I gotta do it again though. Yeah. Like, that's that's the feeling sometimes when when, when there's someone you truly, <laughs> truly down to your core, just don't wanna play. Uh and you end up beating them in, in a winner's finals, you're like, you gotta do it again. And I swear, guys, yeah. I've been in that position and it gets to you. Oh, it for sure. Absolutely gets to you where it, Oh, like because, because it takes everything just to do it once. And you're like, exactly. what, do, what do I have left in the tank versus Ninja Killer, who's a robot, just has to worry about being charged up. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Well, yeah, that's that's what's so tough about it, right? Where, you know, combat is able to send Ninja Killer to the losers. And he's like, OK, finally, I got past the, the, the final boss battle, if you will. And then it's like, nope, he's back. Ooh, down to crush. This is gonna be a lot of damage, Mr. Aquaman. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're for cool little setup and still woke up with the down one's combat. Scary stuff. Gotta because because out. on that same setup, you can whip that flying kick and just forward four and, and have something active there to eat up that wake up button. 
That's a big whip punish now for Ninja Killer. He's gonna get more oh, implications, yeah. I believe. Crushing blow locked and loaded on those bicycle kicks. Okay, That's... here we go though. Trying to catch this up the come back I don't know if he... I'm pretty sure they does have the uh the the glasses for the big comeback. Just got his fatal blowback next hit! Oh god. Got the cancel. Oh, cancel it again. They're jumping! Oh god! Made it oh, down one didn't chip! Oh man! <laughs> Intense. I, I oof. intense indeed. That if if, if you would have got like a walk up one two fatal blow cancel again, could have been all she wrote there in round number one. This is it, it doesn't. I feel like those health deficits, those health leads, they just don't matter with how explosive these two can be on off. Yes. Yeah. They I make such that. hard reads sometimes, but the, the payoff is outstanding. Mm -hmm. he activates. He activates the flames. The additional damage. Okay, the Tarkatan gets tossed. Out the, the virtual I'm, Tarkatan. <laughs> I think you can reflect that one. I'm like 5% really? sure of that. 5% oh, you're again. right, yeah. Because you said interactable. Yeah. Yep. yep. That's my OS though. Just get some wrong big crushing Ooh. load. He, it's okay. He, he, he still has four of them loaded. <laughs> yeah, Just that's wait. right. He's got the bicycle kicks too. Just Combat's wait. got to make sure more. he does not get hit confirmed. He's got to make sure he doesn't get touched. Oh, oh it's a big whiff. And just says, you know what? Oh, God. I think oh, the walk at... down. Oh, the... oh no. Mm. Didn't combat do, do it to him with Beerus? <laughs> he did. In what was it, game one or game two of the finals, right? Back uh, yeah, two. yeah. That smug, arrogant walk out with your chest. Oh, my. Ninja's already a game from the reset. And this is everything, and I mean this to the core, everything that combat didn't want to deal with. Yep. Now we're at potential reset match, depending on what Ninja Killer is able to do in this next game. Or. Do we see a scenario where combat can try and just reverse 3-0 and be done with it? Because once that bracket is reset, then it's then it's danger zone. It is 0-0, winner take all. <laughs> Look at Ninja Killer saying, no, 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 he, don't he, switch, he, don't he, switch. He said, he, he's like, give me to Johnny, give me to Johnny. <laughs> combat not falling for it, though, this time. Oh, man. That up. Now, what if it was the you know that I know that you know that you could be thinking this, but you're not. <laughs> And that ninja killer this entire time chat wanted him to go Gears. The mind games. We don't you never know. know. It's 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 its own chess match within the actual game itself. Layers. So it is the layers that these guys play. Holy smokes. Okay, here we go. Ninja killer up 2-0 right now. If he's able to get this down to crunch again, he has called out those throws constantly. So impressed with how how quick they're able to react to these staggers too. They they just see it down one. They, they they take the turn. They see just a stand one. They're still able to react and, and get those reversals out, or just make a hard read on the stagger. One, he went for the overhead. Down one's all the short hop. Look at the pressure here from Ninja Killer. Oh, he gets the punish. Back throw now. Combat looking to make a bit of a comeback here. Woo. Wow. That was so methodical in, in in traversing the stage to avoid being in that corner from Ninja there. <laughs> and the empty jump now from Combat. Oh, uh -oh. reads the wake up roll. That's three throws in a row. Uh -oh. A fourth one. Make it oh four. my goodness. What's the mix up? What happened to Ninja Killer's uh -oh. health bar? Oh, and he checks the throw himself. And oh, he doesn't check that one though. He said, I'm sick and tired of this. 3.6. Oh. <laughs> wake up sand trap. <laughs> If that would have worked, I oh, don't, man. I, Caboose, there, there, there aren't words in the English language that would have <laughs> described what I would have done, but it would not have been pretty. It would have been the galaxy brain play to end all galaxy brain plays. I would have quit. <laughs> if that ever happens to me, I'm, 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 I'm retiring farther than I already have. I haven't even started the career of retiring yet. <laughs> which is, okay. which is, which is un uninstalling. <laughs> there it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just trying to do something so Galaxy Break even the bag from out and try to get him, try to get him to do something there. Oh, he had the punish, but he doesn't hit confirm, unfortunately. Combat say, got the corner though. I would say he was trying to bait buttons with that, with that teabag in the forward movement, mm. but he grabbed, which means that he thought that he was going to respect something. Like, got like it. a dash up forward forward. Right. Okay, forward two, one now into the freezing of the time. Okay, there's a break away from Ninja Killer. Oh, gets caught by the command grab though. Tossed into the corner like a piece of garbage. And there we go. Combat says, 
next time, perhaps. He's on the board. This is a round. This is a breather. It's been all ninja kills so far. Can combat finally get settled? And come to grasp with, with what's happening here. He was able to do it before. He had the punish there, but I guess he was just going for the, uh, the standing reset. Oh. Just that standing one That's punish. Crush. Mm. Sorry about the leg there, bud. Let's see what combat's gonna go. Start off with now. Oh, okay, crush. Oh, here we crush. Go. Nope. No, oh. not yet. Only, only about one fifty. <laughs> Oh, gets oh, him again. That's another another. One. And wow! That will be the round combat staying alive. Oh my god. Oh, the no amount way. of disrespect on both sides here. I'm eating this up, dude. The smug so arrogance I'm seeing in these in these finishing screens. So good. Loving it. Yeah, this is incredible. This is incredible. Combat clearly proven. Hey, I'm not out of this just yet. You want me to pick Johnny? No, no, no. We're playing on my turf here. This, this is my role. So good stuff there from Combat as he's got a game on the board now. So if Combat's able, able to complete the reverse 3-0, then that's it. But all Ninja Killer needs is one more game to reset this bracket and to technically, as you've mentioned, send Combat into losers and on an even playing field. But, oh, wait, what? Fujinistics? Wait a second. Fujinistics. Oh, he's thinking about it. <laughs> I love this. He has he won multiple tournaments with Johnny Cage as well, by the way. He's definitely yes. done that. They they played the mirror in, in, in a thousand finals, but I haven't seen this yet. I've heard that his that his Fujin was already cooking, and we're gonna get to see it here on display. So let's, let's get into see. it. Skywalker, Skywalker the Twister, Twister yep. Yeah. And warped needle. This is the this is the custom variation that I that I use the most when I play online. Definitely provides you the most combo potential with the character. But okay, here we go. The body splat gonna counter immediately. Combat is off to a good start. Setting up. That's really hard to do with that with that clone up too, because it, it, it could be a, a visual hindrance. Oh yeah. Nice throw. Wow, Ooh, he, he, he actually, it actually didn't punish, but he, he was able to kind of react Choice. to that with that Skywalker too, which is what was really impressive. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's a back one completing the string there with the warp needle gets caught by that command grab though. And combat seemingly in control, escape Wait fail on minute. the throw. Wait a on. second, chat. I don't know, uh, and all the same, I don't know if Ninja Killer really needed to switch characters right away after the, after the one loss, but. I guess let's see what happens here. That's why that's why they're playing and I'm commentating at the end of the day. I can't judge. Nice punish. In the day, I feel like anything can happen at this level. Ooh. Can we just all admit that Fujin's got some of the sickest animations in this game? Beautiful animations. I, I, I don't think there's something to hate about Fujin, if I'm being honest no. with you. Yeah. Out of time. Oh, nice. Second time that he's, he's trying to get that crushing blow and wake up too. Just catch someone with that quick rise one one, which is Whoa. which which is really a couple of things. The, the the main thing that it reads is someone trying to meaty you on your slight delay. Like right. that's a that's a constant mind game. In 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 the wake up vortex, that's a word. That's gonna be a big punish. No breakaway. Yeah. This is gonna be a, a setup for the win. This Congrats. is bad news. Oh man, this is falling apart. And that's oh, gonna do no. it. Oh no. Two, two, bags. another game number five, and combat working on a reverse 3-0 to potentially end this. That would be crazy given given the lead that Ninja had, and at the you know at oh, the man. at the level that he did it at, he really set the tone of his grand finals. It looked like we were on you know course for a 3-0. He was feeling right. himself completely. Gears hits the screen, and everything dies. That that I feel like that's every top eight of Immortal Combat. I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> but yeah, but, but this is this is crazy now. Combat ties it up two two. All he needs is one more game. You gotta imagine though, if we see ourselves in a scenario where after all that work the combat is now made to catch up, if we see Ninja Killer still reset in that bracket, the amount of stress the combat must must go through to have a reset bracket after sending it to game five. I can only imagine. And now well, just a, a lot of messing around in this character select screen. At the at this level, yeah, we I, I get enough stress watching. <laughs> yeah, seriously.
And, you know, having having done a lot of tournaments, it is... These guys go through it. Like, I can I, I can just see it. And talking to them after after events, like, yeah. after, after a grand finals like this, talking to one of the players, they're just, like, drained. Yeah, I can, it, I can only it really just take it out of you. But let's go. Game number five. This tournament ends or continues here. Whew. Will Ninja Killer reset this bracket or will combat take it through the winner's side and fulfill and, the prophecy from the qualifiers? And will my heart be able to handle any of it? I'm not entirely sure, but okay. Will we, start will we have a heart attack off. live? <laughs> <laughs> Starting things off. Combat off to a really good start here. Okay, back throw though. Ninja Killer looking to answer. And make that switch oh, he's got to watch out for that command grab that has been the number one help for combat through this set so far switching over to garris Ooh. there it is again guys an advancing mid command grab is uh, it is it is it is a monster it's something that this is is a, is a huge threat and the range that he's using it at it's it, it's at ranges where it's coming in from max distance and, and starting to deal with the combat starting to make this look easy caboose we finished a sentence and we have ourselves a tournament point <laughs> tournament point now for combat but okay ninja killer not gonna go out without a fight absolutely not gonna make it easy but okay combat now big combo no breakaway break comes in comes a pretty late from ninja who already ate 26 percent and uh, almost picked him to the command grab close enough gets a stand three out there and just hits okay. him with the perfect 90 degree angle kick to make the buff it's oh, hot oh no a little bit of a little bit of backing off there from combat i expected him with that momentum to go in and here we go big damage once again and combat's gonna be one hit from doing his That's crush. That's crush. Oh man, Aquaman. It, it only added two damage. Oh no. Four, three. Chip and away. that is it. Combat with the win. The champion of custom combat. The grueling reverse three. Oh, and he's gonna build a sandcastle for all of us to end things out. Yes. <laughs> wow. 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 Mr. Aquaman in a set that seemed to be an easy 3-0 bracket reset for Ninja Killa. Combat runs it back with the switch to Garrus and gets the reverse 3-0, wins this whole tournament. My goodness, I can't even imagine the stress that Combat has had to go through. First of all, qualifying for this tournament, having to beat Sonic Fox from losers, by the way. Just to get in. Yeah, to, just to get in the tournament. Then he has to go up against some of the best of the best that this damn seed has to offer and goes it two game fives in a row against Ninja Killa. Second one being a reverse 3-0 even where Crazy. It, if I was a betting man, it, that was that was about to be a 3-0 and a bracket reset. But like we talked about and even said, anything is possible. He did it. It's yeah. over. Now you can have that breather. Now you can uh, almost definitively say that you're, you're right now at the you know, at, at the top of competitive Mortal Kombat 11, yes. j j just in, in that you can do it. And when we see uh, what competitive has to offer throughout the rest of 2020, look out for combat. That's, yeah. that's, that's a statement sent. Huge, huge win today. It was customs, but we were still very close to competitive, just like combat was talking about, mm -hmm. where there isn't a huge difference. It's just Oh, that one little change yeah, could like make or break one little situation. Yeah. You know, just, just one extra tool that you yourself could like to use um, or just have a threat with. Just like we saw with that Johnny Cage, he 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 brought that grab ender as just an added tool for one little situation here or there and was used greatly. And so these players are able to express themselves, be very entertaining, wonderful tournament start to end. Yeah, this was a ton of fun to commentate. An honor to commentate alongside you, my friend. This was so much fun i'm I, it was just hype it was just hype it was so cool to see these custom variations and while granted like you said you know it was mo for the most part kind of just one little special move switched in here and there yeah. to kind of enhance an, an already created tournament variation it was still really cool to see these players bring it with these characters utilizing some variations that we don't normally see or won't normally see in the normal pro circuit yeah wonderful yeah. job all around good showcase of it and just what could potentially, you know, competitive custom look like? Uh, because that is, to me anyway, as, as, as a member of the community, I would love to see more custom tournaments. And this gave us a really good, really good insight to it. Not being a drastic change, but 
a change that keeps keeps things interesting and 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 I think I think I think exactly what combat said you know you can be more creative and you can have a little what feels like more fun and I don't know about you guys but I started playing Mortal Kombat to have fun and yeah. I I I stay playing Mortal Kombat <laughs> because it's fun and so when when you're having fun it I think the guy won yeah. you know yeah 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 and no, I, I, that's what it can feel like when you when you have a little more freedom to express yourself in the game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Definitely. That was kind of the name of the game with this tournament was for everybody to just have fun. Um, but I believe that we do have another interview, of course, with Combat once again. So why don't we take it to that interview? Uh, we're going to send it to Camille and Drew. But it's been a blast once again commentating with you, Mr. Hawkman. We hope everybody enjoy the broadcast. But let's see what Combat has to say about that victory. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Uh, congratulations, Combat, who's joining us through audio right now. Um, holy crap. Okay, my heart is pounding. I know, Drew, your heart's pounding, but Combat, I got to ask you, like, you scared us the first bit. You were confident going in. Was the break, did the break kind of cool you down a bit, or what happened? Were you expecting the Sun Zero, and then that kind of threw you off when you didn't see it? Um, no, I knew, I knew Ninja was pissed off at me for a feedback in the last set. So I knew he was going to go like full tryhard. And that like, the reason, if you guys saw my variation name, it says Johnny yes. Lou 5-5. Five five. Yes. The reason is Ninja plays that matchup perfectly. Like I I have to play it perfect or I lose. Like he made me whiff like terribly. Right. Yeah. Like that's the thing. If you play that matchup good, it becomes 5-5. Five five. But if you play it like badly, it's, Six four John. That's the thing. Like matchups at the highest level are different in this game. So that's why like Ninja, even though I did tee back, he he's the homie. Everybody's like you know the homie in this scene. Um, Ninja's ridiculous. I'm just like, that's not. Everybody knows that, right? Ninja's just amazing. But um, Jesus to him, I picked Garrus because, I mean, he was just playing that Johnny matchup way too good, so I did not want to play it anymore. Well, yeah. What did you? So the Garrus pick. Mm-hmm. Did you have you also have to change up your playstyle? So like, what they're uh, kind of because like I was kind of worried too, even with you with Gears, right? So what mm-hmm. what did you change when you went into the first match? Uh, Ninja, he has like probably the best reactions in our scene. So if you stagger like one thing against him, he will press, and I can't do that against with Johnny because Johnny's buns aren't the best. So I wanted to space control with Gears, which is what he allows you to do since. He can't fireball because I can sand trap him. And every time I command grab him, he goes full screen. And I actually have like pokes and mids to compete with Liu Kang. So that's why I just wanted the space control, which was way better for me. And Garrus is a grab loop monster, which, well, sorry. Absolutely. Um, speaking of high level, do you think custom uh, variation should be tournament legal? Because you mentioned earlier that there, there's really not much difference from the meta, right? There's mm-hmm. just one or two extra moves. Consider so. Do you think this should be a normal thing moving forward into the next competitive season? Season, if there is one. Um. Yeah, for sure. It allows every player to play how they want. But if they do make them tournament legal, they definitely have to like work some moves. Some moves are like that. Liu Kang. Um. Like com- combination, it is really good. So some moves like, you, like the thing is, it's it's tough because you. You can't nerf some moves because then some of the variations will become like bad, you know what I mean? But you have to like look at each move and nerf them so they're like fair. But I definitely think if they do it, then this game can be like way better since it has way more freedom. Awesome. Oh man, thank you so much. Like obviously what you showed in this tournament today uh, shows that you are definitely one to be talking about. I know everyone's keeping an eye on what you will bring next. Thank you so much for providing a great and entertaining show and storyline throughout the tournament. And congratulations mm-hmm. spending that money, man. Have fun. Thank you. And thank you guys again for hosting this tournament. It was amazing. Thank you. No problem, man. Stay godlike, young man. Stay godlike. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. Have a good night, guys. Good night. Yes. Well, that was it. That is custom variations in tournament style. We saw it once again, and it was definitely an exciting one. Uh, we saw NA throw it down. And Drew, it was just, we're going to be talking about this forever now. 
Absolutely. I mean, custom variation and not even the favorites win. It's combat. That, that's that's exciting. That that shakes things up a lot in the NRS scene. And I'm excited to see how it progresses later on in the year. And it's over because tomorrow we have the EU throwing it down. They're going to show us what they got. That's starting at 4 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. BST. So make sure that you join us here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to our casters. And Drew, you too. You cool guy. All right. All right, Troll says, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.